All right, ready, Mitchie? Yeah. All right, I got to get my music queued up. Then I'm going to kick you out, and then we are okay. going to uh, – I, I got to get my generic royalty-free intro music ready to go. And then uh, and then we're, I'm going to kick you out, and I'm going to do my intro, and we're going to do our show, and we're going to get our guests on, and then we're going to get the fuck out of here because we're losing our minds. I uh, hope you're hanging in there, buddy. I love it. All right, I'll see you in a few. You too, dude. All right, see you in a minute. Bye. The King of Comedy. Today, better known as the title of a Scorsese film that formed the inspiration for Todd Phillips' Joker, for decades this was the nickname of an American entertainer known by his stage name, Jerry Lewis. From the age of 15 until his death at 91, Lewis spent much of his life on stage and screen, first gaining fame as one half of the Martin Lewis Act with heartthrob singer Dean Martin, and later solo as the star of broad comedies like The Disorderly Orderly and the original pre-clumps Nutty Professor. Lewis's goofball antics gave him a rabid fandom in France, where he's known by another nickname, Le Roi du Crazy. And speaking to his auteurist bona fides, as a director, he pioneered the now omnipresent use of monitors to watch video playback of takes on set. And Lewis also pioneered a portmanteau of television and marathon, the telethon, with his series of televised fundraisers for the Muscular Dystrophy Association beginning in 1966. And though Lewis do crit... And though Lewis drew criticism later in life for perhaps exploiting the very people he was hoping to help, the financial impact of his efforts was undeniable, as his telethons raised an estimated $2.6 billion in donations over six decades. Will the Doathon prove as successful? Only time will tell if Burger Boy and Spoon Man can compete with the man called the King of Comedy. This week on Doughboys, as we close out the 2021 Doathon, raising money for the Restaurant Workers Community Foundation, we return for the second time in 24 hours, to Taco Bell. Welcome to Doughboys, the podcast about chain restaurants. How's everybody doing out there in the chat? We're hanging in there. We're bailing. We're hanging by a thread over here. But thank you all for sticking with us to the bitter end. Hopefully, actually, it'll be a little sweeter than bitter. A little bit more flavorful, a little bit more toothsome, especially with the guests we have lined up. But we'll get to that in a second. I'm Nick Weiger. And let me introduce my co-host, a spoon-shaped fool, Mr. Slice, Mike Mitchell. What's I'm sorry, up, I accidentally... Wise? I accidentally I, I did the thing again where I added you and then removed you in quick succession. I just was too hasty with the the, the left click. I do not look good. You look great. You oh look boy. great. No, you're, you're 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 very self conscious about your own appearance. Oh, Mitch, we got to record. I Wags. I am recording. I forgot to record. Okay, I'm rolling now. Jesus oh, Christ, fuck you. you fucked up big time. Well, I can take my intro separately. Why the dumb fucks who this? listen to the show will never know. <laughs> Why? I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take a slice right here. Here we go. Here's a slice. Look at that. That looks I just, delicious. I want to show everybody this slice. How it looks here. That's 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 what we got wow. here. Here's the bottom. Wow. The bottom Incredible. The pie. Let's see here. I like the size of that slice too. I mean, I'm sure it's somewhat distorted by your uh, gigantic oven mitt hands, but it is still yeah, like a smaller slice. This is actually a 30-inch pizza. <laughs> uh, by the way, donations I'm, I'm, are coming are coming in again. Uh, if anyone is trying was trying to donate earlier, it looks like we have uh, gotten past the PayPal blockade and can once again collect donations for the Restaurant Workers Community Foundation over our, our charity stream, uh, Streamlabs charity link, rather. Why, not, uh, Mitch, that gonna... roast that roast was from Mark. Radiohead-inspired pun after you dubbed them The Brawlers. All love. Thanks for the laughs. Roastspoonman at gmail.com. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. That's a Doughboy's miracle. That's the best bar pizza I've ever made in my life. Come on. I, sw I swear. Even with the floor uh, fragments? I'm going to have to drop the fucking cheese on the floor every time I do it. It was don't, fantastic. Please don't, please don't make that part of your recipe. It was. It's the best bar pizza. I look like I ran. I look. I look like I just ran. I guess I don't have to say ran a specific <laughs> amount. I just look like I ran. Period. 
how much I of ran, the... I ran, I ran a yard. <laughs> Do you... Okay, so be objective for a second. How much of it is... Uh, like, this is the best execution of bar pizza, and how much of it is, like, under these circumstances, I was able to put this together, and when I tasted it, boy, that was exactly what I needed. Or do you mm -hmm. legitimately think this is the best? This is the best bar pizza I've ever made. Wow. It was great. Well, hey, Mitch, in other good news, we just reached, we, we've already exceeded our threshold of $125,000 raised for this foundation the Restaurant Workers Community Foundation. Mm -hmm. As you were biting that bar pizza, we just passed the $140,000 mark. And I think by the end of this stream, I think we're going to hit 150K. I think that's extremely plausible. We need to push to 150K with the guests. Yes. Why? It's 150K. And that's guess absurd. what? We have the best guests. I want to say, howdy ho to Spoon Nation from Mr. Slice. For real this time. And why? Wow. I got a little drop for you, but if we're going to push it 10 more, if we're going to get 10 more K, I can't speak. If we're going to get 10 more K, if we're going to get 10 K more, um, we have the guests to do it. We have the, we have, it, absolutely. It's, it's a, 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 as they say, a murderer's row. A murderer's row. Let me play your drop for you, Mitch. Thank you, uh, Wags. And then we can, and I'm, I apologize. The mix might be too loud. Uh, I'm I'm doing my best here. I'll try to adjust on the fly, but I didn't get a chance to test this. We're gonna play your drop, and everyone's uh, who can who's watching the Twitch stream can hear it and then complain about it in the chat. That's fine. Uh, I know the drill, and here we go. It's a Cheetos restaurant. That's right. Cheetos crusted fried pickles. They didn't taste like Cheetos. Spicy Cheetos nachos. Cheetos. Cheetos grilled cheese and tomato soup. I mean, that sounds great. Also, it's a Cheetos tomato Was soup. It good? So there's Cheetos in that tomato soup. That's going to be a lot of cheese. Cheetos. Cheetos. Maybe a better version of these mac and Cheetos. 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 Throwing those Cheetos in there is just a little bit of a wild card. When I was eating keto, which I have to do again. Uh... Pronounced Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> Great drop. Mitch, do you have who that's from? No idea. Drop King? It's the Drop, it's from King, drop again. King again. Our associate producer, Robert Persinger, who picks the drops that are submitted by listeners, has himself gotten back into the drop creation game for this event. Wow. Incredible. What a return. Return of the King. Return of the Drop King. Return of the Drop. I don't know. I tried. I loved it. I thought that was Why? outstanding. Wags, I gotta tell you, I know that yeah. you're miserable right now. I'm hanging in there. Yeah, no, but, I, no, that's no. no I take that back. I am miserable, but I'm, I'm, I'm also hanging you, in there. You're gonna be okay. This is gonna end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the 25th hour just on my own. But you, you can go to bed as soon as this show is over, and you don't can go be to bed a knowing that hero. Don't be, don't hero on me. Look, Wags. Wags. had to, Wiger had to leave, but I handled it myself. I did the 25th Wags. hour on my own. It's not that at all. You didn't sleep at all. I got to sleep a few hours. Right. I, got, I got, I got, I got probably two and a half to three hours of sleep. So, all right, you Wags, you did your job. I was going to tell you, you should go to bed happy as a clam. We helped, we helped raise with all these uh, amazing listeners who are here today and everyone watching and all these amazing guests. We all helped raise a big chunk of money. You should go to bed happy. I'm not, Ooh. I'm not trying to pat ourselves on the back but you should you, you i know it's you feel miserable now but you should feel good yeah. there's no way not to come across as you're patting yourself on the back especially when you do when you're like this is a charity marathon named after us and we're doing it look at what we're doing like you you look like a kind of like a, a fucking asshole but i guess i'm okay with looking like a little bit of a crowny asshole if that mm -hmm. does ultimately route some money to an organization that is doing a lot of work for the rights of workers in the food service industry which as we know are perpetually under attack and more important than ever. As we've seen that restaurant workers, how crucial they are to our economy over the events of the mm -hmm. past year. Mm -hmm. And why? Cause I'm not trying to be a hero, but I got this last hour on my own. All I right. can do this. All right. <laughs> Give me my Armageddon moment. I want a Bruce Willis Armageddon moment. You want to, I want to like, shut you. You want to explode on the moon? Yeah. You want to die? Explode in one way or another on the moon. Oh That's boy! That's right. <laughs> you, you're Would talking I be about the first, the first zero G load. Actually, wait, it's not zero G. It's low G. 
I was wrong there. I feel like someone's probably someone must have busted in space. What are we doing? Why are we having this Arm conversation? You think Armstrong he he busted when he when he when he first stepped foot on the moon? Right. The fucking NASA laundromat was like, ew, he fucking nutted in his suit. <laughs> It's actually, we didn't understand that was a part of adapting to a lower gravity environment. <laughs> Constant just, nutting. Yeah, you're just fucking uh, uh, prostate relaxes and you fucking shoot a hot wad. That happens, that's happening with Bruce Willis too in that Armageddon moment when he's on yeah, asteroid. Yeah, it's very sad. I gotta, um, I gotta, we, we, should, we shouldn't get our guests in here because they're get, so Let's good get our guests in here also, because can... we're flailing and this is... And they're funny, and they're we're funny. not. Let's... <laughs> Mitch, as the Doathon winds down, we have a trio of all-star guests to carry us home. I'm going to bring them all. Did Mitch leave? Did we lose Mitch? Did we lose Mitch? We lost Mitch during the final episode. Okay. All right, he's back. What Did you think I was gone for good? Um, Kind of. Just trying to keep you on your toes. No, I just hit a, bu a wrong, bu a wrong okay. button. You're back here. Let's get some. Uh, let's, let's get, get them get in here. They've, let's get these let's guests get them here. in here and apologize to them. As I'm just going to introduce in. them together. Yeah, we'll spend the first uh, five minutes of their appearances just groveling. Uh, a trio of all star guests to carry us home John Hodgman, Arden Marine, and Paul F. Tompkins. Holy shit. <laughs> in what universe? In one universe. Hello. <laughs> Hi, thank you so much for being here. Oh my the podcast god, Paul. extended universe. <laughs> That's what Paul dresses for Taco Bell. <laughs> it's my Saturday. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, thank you all oh. so much for being here. I, I mean, I, I guess I'll just sort of say, uh, I, I'll, I'll just ask a question like I would on the podcast. How about this? I'll put this to the floor. Great idea, Nick. Sure, tell your body what to do. <laughs> <laughs> what 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 is every what are everyone's feelings on Mexican food? Like where where do you love rank it, it among your cuisines? Big fan? Fifteen out of ten. I love it. I wow. love yeah. it. I can eat tacos all day, every day. I love it. I think Italian is probably my favorite, and I think Mexican is probably like so close behind it you wouldn't even believe it. I like Mexican wow. food. Wow. <laughs> I think it's maybe my it's maybe my favorite food, but part of that is a byproduct of me growing up in Southern California sure. and just having being around yeah, by surrounded course. by so much of, of it. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. That's right. <laughs> yeah, you did. You're oh, good, I'm busting, Nick. You're I'm good. busting a nut in my space right oh, now. Oh, I'm no. sorry, you guys. Jesus I just like Christ. Christ. speed. I got excited. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got ex so excited. <sighs> I've been no, no, no. We've we're lo we've lost our mind. We look like shit, and and yeah. we're, we're we're very grateful for you guys to be here. I gotta be. You guys look great. I gotta be honest with you, Mitch. I'm a little worried. I was. Yeah. Like I was with you for for some of the Twitch stream earlier. I especially liked when you broke your strainer by clogging it with tomatoes. <laughs> I didn't know you could break a strainer. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Pastine brand tomatoes, New England's mm -hmm. favorite canned tomatoes. I appreciated mm -hmm. that. And, and let me tell you, go ahead. The the it's the best bar pizza I've ever go made. Ahead, it's Mitch. fantastic. I, I it's it's the best bar pizza I've ever made. Go, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> it looks so good. I know it had stuff. I mean, look at that. The gutter rat in me. The gu I mean, as you know, as you know, there's like a real side of me that's like pure trash. And there's a right. side of, I I would eat that floor covered pizza. Like it looks so. Appealing to me and like go ahead, go ahead Arden. The crap, the cra thank you, Paul. <laughs> thank you, Paul. <laughs> Every Saturday, I pay Paul to come over mm. in formal wear and just like <laughs> give me permission to speak. And it and it makes me feel safe. And I I love it. And it works for me. That's my house. That's actually my that's my guest room that he's in right wow. now. Yeah, yeah. I give Paul the nice room. Yeah, I I. I <laughs> You don't mind if I just direct, I direct the show. <laughs> <laughs> because the, the camera shots are static. All I can do is just direct who talks when. <laughs> uh Here's a question for you, PFT. Yes. 
you're you're a, a famously well dressed man. <laughs> what do you do when you got a sloppy meal and a sharp suit? Well, I of course have uh, special napkins that have a buttonhole in them, mm. so I can uh, attach that to my uh, tuxedo stud and uh, eat that way, and it protects my. A lot of people think that's a hillbilly way to eat, but it's actually it's um it's actually fancy. Mm-hmm. You ever been to anyone ever been to the Hillstone family of restaurants? We're talking your your Houston's uh, Hillstone. They have a H- Hillstone restaurant, Bandera. They do a thing there. Love it. Love them. And they do a thing at the Houston's where they give you. (laughs) Terrible. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you so much, Bob. And that's a go on, Arden. Let's go. Um, Yes, I love Houston's. I've been to a lot of Camera two. Camera two. Tight on camera two. I love a wedge salad. Yeah. I've been to Houston's. I love it. Wow. They do. to speak well. (laughs) Arden, my, did I say I go ahead, Arden? <laughs> no, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That is my bad. I'm so sorry. Take, 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 it, take like it again. About, what I like about Houston's, and I don't know if anyone's ever brought this up, but the the employees are shareholders in the company. Mm. How about that? That's How about great. That? Yes. I did not That's, know that. I did yeah. not know that. I've never heard of this restaurant. <gasps> oh, go ahead. Oh. Houston's is good. Yeah, and that's you, great. You go to the Century City Mall, yeah. treat yourself mm-hmm. like a real king. If you go to Dallas, there's <laughs> one that's just like Houston's, but it's called, I guess they're mad at this name Houston, so they called it something else. But it's Houston's with a different name. I ate like every meal there when I was working. I love it. You eat truly a, a fantastic wedge salad. It's like a fancy steakhouse diner, enormous menu. It's yeah. like the steakhouse version of like a, like a cheesecake factory size menu, but like expensive. Right. It's a, it's a leather bound gigantic menu. It's leather bound. I wasn't Ooh. paying. Yeah. It's Ooh. fancy. There's a bookmark. Mm-hmm. Get a bunch of them, make a pair of pants out of it. Nice mm-hmm. leather pants, right? I would love to see that. Sure. And they're all stake, they're all shareholders, you say, Paul, eh? Go ahead, John. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Mitch, what I wanted to say was you look terrible. And yeah, I mean, I feel terrible. I just really, I mean, because when I saw you earlier on the stream, I'm like, everything seems to be holding up okay. But when you sat down in your current position, I, I honestly gasped. I hope you're okay. I'm okay. I, the pizza came through. The pizza, the pizza uh, looks fantastic, but I don't want you to die for it. The pizza came through all right, and my, my mom, my mom's not home, so I, I think I'm gonna be okay. Uh, Nick, I love Mexican food. You, oh, didn't, yeah. you didn't ask me how I feel about and to quote. Well, I, I know your Mary, thoughts, but yes, I should have given you the opportunity. I like that my quote, mom's not home. I'm going to be okay is the number one reason you're going to be okay is because your mom's not home. That's why I'm mostly concerned. <laughs> I like the idea that they've been doing this food show for years and it's just like, you didn't ask me how I felt about Mexican food. <laughs> Like it's never, it's never come up. It's also hour twenty five of talking about Mexican food. Yeah. <laughs> Mitch has never come right out and asked Mitch, "How do you like it?" He's been trying to figure out how to ask that since last night. <laughs> <laughs> to gr- to quote to groat. Oh man, I gotta go to. I I need you sleep. But I believe you. To- I believe. Get in the game, Mitch. We're going to regional. You got it. Uh, to groot, I am groot. <laughs> go ahead, Mitch. <laughs> Go for Mitch. Go for Mitch. <laughs> Go, for, Go for Mitch. And to quote, Mitch. to quote Mary Catherine Gallagher, "I okay. love it. I love it. I love it, Wags. I love Mexican <laughs> food. It has, <laughs> has, has, it has, it has raised, it has, <laughs> sure, it has raised the ranks. Italian was my number one food, and now it is neck and neck. I, 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 it's, it's. They're nearly tied. I love it's tough. Mexican food, but is Taco Bell Mexican food, or no, is it no. something completely no, different? It's, it's Taco no, Bell. No, no, no. Taco, yeah, Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. It's Taco Bell. Taco Bell. It's its, Taco Bell. it's, its own Taco thing. Mm-hmm. Have, have, are you guys? Have you guys been fans of Taco Bell before? But oh my god, I, I, I'm so tired. I'm sorry. Uh, you, Mitch. you got this. Uh, go ahead, go ahead, ahead, leave it on the go field. Ahead, leave it on the field, Mitch. Leave it on the field. You got it, Mitch. Have you've all? And go ahead, Weiger. Go on, Weiger. 
<laughs> Roll on wider. So, the, the, yes, I mean, I've mentioned this before that they're that they, you have different. I mean, you, you separate them in different buckets. You crave Taco Bell, you crave Mexican food, proper Mexican yeah. food, like from yeah. a taqueria or a taco truck. I mean, it, it, it's its own thing. I, I can I can have a a, a wonderful uh, lengua taco on a fresh made corn tortilla with some salsa verde mm. and have the time Oof. of my life versus Oof. having. This guy like knows a, lengua, if you know what I mean. Now you're talking. Yeah. Keep knows. talking. Yeah, Versus, say words. Say, say my name. <laughs> <laughs> but a Crunchwrap Supreme evokes something very different, and sometimes that's mm -hmm. what I'm craving. Yeah. And, and yeah, for me, I'm to. more of a of Del Taco partisan, but I also really respect what Taco Bell does in the- Yeah, I, you know. I, I, I listen to the podcast. I know. What I wanted to say was, for me- <laughs> Go ahead, John. Thank you. Taco Bell- Bean and Cheese Burrito, Commonwealth mm. Avenue, 1991. That's right. One of the greatest wow. meals I ever had in That's my right. life. I think it cost 69 what? cents at that time. That's right. That's 69 right. cents. Ah, guys, guys, guys. It was have less than a dollar. Away, have you all been awake for 48 hours? John has. <laughs> John has been prepping for this. I'm going to lose our head here. He's method, Paul. Paul. John is method. Paul, I, I, I enjoy fine food. This is not fine food, obviously, but... It was a it was an at hot summer afternoon, 1991. I was back from college, hanging out with Charles Diggs, and uh, we went and we got some bean and cheese burritos and walked down Commonwealth right. Avenue and felt like the kings of Commonwealth Avenue. This I just I, I just really enjoyed it, and I, it's a Proustian thing for me. Understood. So it's yeah. more of the experience than actually this is one yeah. of the greatest meals you ever had. No, it was one of the well, <laughs> you know what it contains. <laughs> As I say, it was a Proustian thing because back then Taco Bell made their burritos with uh, Madeline cookies. Mm. That's a literary joke. <laughs> I like it. Do you, do you know what Proust is? <laughs> I like to oh, yeah. It. Okay. All right. Proust guy. Yeah, uh, Proust. <laughs> Proust guy. Hello, Proust guy. <laughs> I don't know it's, if you listen. We we discuss Proust on the pod occasionally. I'm I was gonna sure. say quickly. <laughs> that, <laughs> I was gonna say that I I'm, I think I'm the next punch madness is gonna be a, a battle of which books of uh, things <laughs> remembered, whatever the fuck it's called. Remembrance of things past. <laughs> Remembrance of things Remembrance past. Of things I'm past. a Swan's Way guy myself, but there are mm. all, other volumes, so we'll go head to head. I I, I would like to pass off me Remembrance not being past. able to me not being able to you know get a clear sentence out as t the 24 hours being awake or whatever but i can't you you know the podcast we can't speak normally so this we're just right. non-functioning nick and i are going to be useless to you in this episode so we just want to apologize i actually That's think all. you guys it's are great. doing Amazing. remarkably well it has been a delight wow yeah. Yeah. oh man it's been a delight. i appreciate that yeah it's been really fun thank you and you've and it's for obviously it's an amazing cause mm -hmm. yeah you know what it's really lifting my spirits because i had a uh, this has been a bad week actually oh no well i have you know i have this rv and i needed to move it and go ahead paul you know i have a there's a guy of a neighbor sort of guy in the neighborhood and i was like will you help me move this i gotta move it and you need help it's, moving your rv i need help moving my rv so i'm, I'm gonna drive and i'm gonna lead <laughs> him to where the rv has to go yeah this guy is like such a little coward driving the <laughs> rv Okay. Like I'm going through through red lights and stop signs and stuff yeah. like that. He's not. Mm -hmm. He's stopping at everything. He's like, I don't want to smash into you. I'm like, that's you're supposed to. <laughs> right. Kind of a whiny Harvard type, right? I don't have any. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have any. I have barely. Any, I'm running on fumes in this car. I need you to push me so mm -hmm. I can show you where to. Oh, anyway. Long story short, I got there, but it was not easy, and you know, so I'm happy to be here. Dear God. <laughs> I could tell that was a struggle for you, Paul. It was a struggle, I, I Arden. Go ahead, Arden. Struggle. Thank you, Paul. I could see how that was a struggle. I appreciate your authenticity, Paul. And I can see that that must have been a really challenging week for you. <sighs> and we're going live to Arden in three. <laughs> <laughs> Roll on Arden. I broke it. It was hard for me. I broke into this child's room. They don't want me to be in here. Um, they keep trying to kick me out. I don't have any children myself, but I was like, I'm going to live stream. This is important, and I need a fun backdrop. And Arden, I, uh, Arden yes. you yes. just fucked up, and you admitted in so many words that you are a haunted doll, which I've always said. <laughs> yeah. I know. If you, and now it's out. If there was nothing... 
literally every <laughs> night before I fall asleep, I get a text from PFT saying, just never forget. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag never forget. You it. are a haunted yeah. doll. You're and I have, not, I have not slept well in years, ever since I met Paul. The worst day of my life. He's because he makes me he says I'm a haunted doll. Wow. Here's the thing. It's not a judgment. And no. I'm just saying admit what what is the truth. Admit who you are. It's not yeah. a judgment. Be a haunted doll. I don't care. But just no, I be know. honest. You're right. You're right. There's and this- if you're a haunted, I gotta be honest with you. If you're gonna be honest with this and say you're a haunted doll, I'm out of here. I can't I honestly won't be able to deal with that. Uh I, I, I have Mitch, what are you talking about? <laughs> What's the matter with you? What are I you so scared of? <laughs> Paul, I don't know if you know this, but when I was a boy, I had I had I had a, vid- a very vivid dream. I mean, and I, and I think that it maybe was sleep paralysis. Nick knows this. Yes. That uh, that a Mickey that story. a Mickey Mouse doll grabbed my arm. Uh, when, when, when I was upstairs in my bed, and it truly I did terrify me for a long time. I put the that doll no, in the attic. That was no dream. <laughs> That's right. Paul, you're. Are you okay, Paul? Paul what the oh, fuck's fine. going Listen, on? Those He's dolls. Doll. There was, there was. Those dolls were recalled. <laughs> Paul is the queen. What's He's the, there was He's a the Geppetto of the haunted doll. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He sent that mouse to you. Oh my God! What wow. if Geppetto <clears throat> wanted Pinocchio to be haunted? <laughs> what if he was like, <laughs> I wanna. I wish I had a son, and I also wish he was haunted. Sure. Right. I wish I had a possessed son, and then all he could do was make a haunted doll. How long have you been? <laughs> Waiting for Mitch to see your eyes like that. <laughs> oh, for a while, yeah, for a while. <laughs> wow, a lot of people are going crazy in the chat. They're scared. The chat is it's, the scat is a very chaired, scared place right now. I gotta oh, say, I gotta get this out. Be chaired. <laughs> if you're in the scat, say- be chaired. Be very a chaired. <laughs> be very a chaired. I have I have to say this. We're at hundred and forty six thousand dollars. Right, yes. Yeah. Oh, you, guys, you guys are kill we're we're bumping up. up. We're good. We're done. We're, we're done. Going crazy. Okay, good. Wrap it up. You know what? I would love ahead, for it Paul. to get higher, but I don't think the Doughboys fans have it in them. I just oh, think boy. that oh, I just think okay. they can't do it. I think right, they can't do it. You're picking a fight. You're picking a fight, Paul. I'm, not, I, I'm just again. Paul, I just, do I need to wait you? I'm gonna key your RV under the water slide, Paul. Please don't keep key my RV under the water slide. <laughs> Please, haunted doll. <laughs> Please, haunted doll. Don't keep my RV under the water slide. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, Paul. Uh, <laughs> yeah, are, no, you haunted, just, are you in, in, inhabited by the ghost of a of a dead child or an overall? Uh, uh, evil spirit, would you say, Art? Good question. Good question. Great question. That's great a great question. question. I, you know what? I would say it was an evil spirit. Mm-hmm. It it uh, possessed me in college. I yeah. thought that oh I. Wait, well, you I were thought, a regular doll in college. You were some. I thought I was a regular doll, <laughs> and then I was playing. I was playing Ouija, and I was always like the you know the regular doll that would just push around the letters, no, and then I, it started I, really flying around, and I realized that I was like a, a haunted doll. If yeah. you are a regular doll playing Ouija, I have a feeling you are already haunted. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, that's a good yeah. point. Did, did was there a bar, was there a bar, a Barbie uh, plays the Ouija set? Was that one of the Barbies? Uh, Duda, Barbie. Duda. There's Barbie plays <laughs> the Ouija. Yes, yes. Yes. Skipper goes to the craft. Yes, yes, absolutely. Skipper goes to the craft. <laughs> thank you for <laughs> Thank the you craft. for singing parody versions of public domain songs so we don't get hit with a DMCA takedown here on the Twitch platform. We got really you appreciate back, it. You guys are Absolutely. pros. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Well, Absolutely. Well, well, Paul is the guy uh, as the as the guest here who believes in the Doughboys fans and listeners. Mm-hmm. I can tell you they just hit 147. So, <gasps> oh! yeah. Looks like your bad attitude has been well, going wrong. Yeah. I mean, I doubting think, Paul. I think that's great. They'll never make it to 150. That's all I'm saying. I think. It, I think it's. I think it's impossible. I think it's impossible. <laughs> because they're bad people. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. No, I think. They're, I, I, <laughs> or they're. Yes. Or, <laughs> I personally think Go that the fans are wonderful people, but I, I just don't see it happening. I just, it happening. Up, just, I just don't see it happening. Paul. You just Go feel like they're, they're not up to the task. They can't work yeah. together mm. and dig deep. And, yeah, I don't and, think they can. Yeah. Also, I, here's the thing. I don't think they care that much about the restaurant work. Wow. 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 I like okay. 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 I mean, if they did, if they do, I, I guess I'll be proven wrong, and I'm happy to be proven wrong, but I don't think I will be. 
Finally wow. speaking the rumor out loud. I'm worried about Nick. I saw him open his eyes wide and start nodding yeah. his head and blinking. And I just wanted to say, <laughs> we're here for you, Nick. Are you doing all right? I think that's you because you're great. I think great. you were trying. You were trying to inhabit his body, Arden. I think. You know what? I can't <laughs> worry about him. It's because he's putting up a protective wall. I've been trying to jump yeah. into his soul, and it has not worked so far over this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Speaking, of haunt, speaking of haunted dolls, Nick's mm -hmm. eyes are an incredible thing to look. When we, when we do the live, when we've done the live shows before, we're all looking at the audience. I don't. Right. I don't get a chance to really stare into the twin black holes of Nick's eyes. Yes. Particularly when Nick is pretending. <laughs> to express emotion it was yes. there was a moment yes right before we came on when that incredible bar pizza came out yeah. and Nick was said and said with a, such a smile in his voice i can't wait to eat pizza with you again same sometime mitch and nick your eyes were just dead ahead <laughs> shark eyes it was yeah. very unnerving i have to say yeah. shark, shark, some would say shark eyes shark like mm -hmm. eyes that don't shark really eyes. you can't really get anything out of them I will mm -hmm. just say I felt inside this. I there was reciprocation inside of me. I just don't know. How, I just can't. Okay. I can't make the outside can of my someone, body can reflect someone the reboot, interior. Can we reboot Weiger. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's got to be a reboot. Yeah, I think I think his self awareness circuit is. Uh... <laughs> I mean, are we talking factory settings? Is that what we're talking about? I think we got to yeah, let's... <laughs> Is he back up? Is he that backed up? Break him and start over. I hope he's backed up. Back him up first. I hope he's back him up first. You better back it up. Back it up first. <laughs> Show me what you're working with. Back it up, back it up, back it up. What are you working with? Back it up. Yeah. I, I, I got to say, it's just, it's just a thrill. Truly, I mean this sincerely, to watch... To oh, just watch go. funny people, to watch funny people on the show, I, like uh, we're not, we're yeah. not functioning at all. We're no. not. In, way to, in, in, way in, to, uh, way to shit on all your previous guests. By the way, good job. Nice <laughs> I'll job. take it. I, you know what? Uh, <laughs> I'll need a it. Refreshing I'll change of pace. <laughs> <laughs> finally, finally, oh. you <laughs> For twenty-three hours of torture. <laughs> <laughs> people are going. Yeah, I'll meet you at four in the morning and just discuss. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. I'll take it. I needed that. I needed to win. Oh, oh man. <laughs> We're grateful to have all of you as we review Taco Bell for the he sixth rebooted. time. He rebooted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Taco Bell founded in 1962, part He's of Yum Brand. Jesus. He's back. Removed, then re added potato items during quarantine. And we, as of our last episode. <laughs> As of our like last episode, is in the Golden Plate Club once more after being wow. booted. Wow. And we'll see if it remains after this evaluation. Did you? I'm sorry, did you say they re-added potato items during the quarantine? Yes, It was a strange did. thing. I they, followed they, that news story. Yeah. They, yeah they it was very they controversial. Reduced... They took out all the, the potato, a lot of the vegetarian stuff, right, Nick? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Including, there, the, including the potato-based tacos. And I was surprised wow. to see they were back on the menu. I did not They're know back. they had come back. They're back. It's a weird thing that that feels. I mean, you, you could. There's a there's a negative. There's a cynical reading of it, which is that you took it away because you know people would demand it back, and then that would create mm. buzz for you. I don't know if that's exactly what happened. I would think it's more that Yum Brands is a no. rudderless ship, but it is. Uh, but th that was a. <laughs> it was a. It was a mistake to I hear, contract. I hear it's so a ghost much. ship. I hear it's like the Flying Dutchman. Oh, fuck. oh wow! You only see it. You only see it once a year, <laughs> floating yummy, above the seas. Yummy mm -hmm. industries. Mm -hmm. As a haunted doll, I can confirm that. <laughs> 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 That's how I get around. <laughs> we 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 we've talked about this quite a lot, which mm -hmm. is which sucks. But we've talked about how young brands. <laughs> <laughs> we've talked about how. Yum Brands, the, the, there's no reason for Taco Bell to take away any of this stuff. People like Taco Bell because of because yes. you can get all these different options, Nick. It's it's the Willy Wonka of foods. They 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 make toys right. for adults. Every every weird new uh, burrito and and taco is it's fun to go and get them. And then they cut their menu in half, and the rest of their restaurants yeah. suck. Mitch, can I ask you who do you think Willy Wonka is? <laughs> <laughs> like your best I, guess. I too, I don't mean to throw authors around, but Roald Dahl. Ah, mm. nice. Mm -hmm. He wrote that, right? That's, that's your yes, answer. Good job. He, good your job. answer is Roald Dahl. <laughs> Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka is Roald Dahl. Is Roald Dahl wrote that. <laughs> you know what? 
The man uh, is I'm sorry, we can't accept that. Please, please uh, answer in the form of an answer. <laughs> <laughs> you got this, Mitch. I believe in you. Come on, we're going to nationals. You pass regionals. You got this. Willy Wonka is a man. He owns a chocolate factory. Yep. He opens his. He he's tired. He wants to retire. He opens the door to the children. Yeah, and then That's he. Right. And then he and narrows he it down to one. one. He yeah. kill. He does kill them, and then he narrows he it down to one. <laughs> he kills them. He yes. kills them. They 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 fall. Well, there's a period of a psychological pit. torture before the murder and the disintegration. Right. But yes, it's a tale as old as time. Yeah. And then he narrows it down to the perfect child in the perfect. Child and then he screams at that child. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and makes him cry. One final test. Mm-hmm. One final test. I'm going to abuse you. Now that Mitch, that is that is all correct. Run a chocolate factory. That is, yeah. that, and now you have a job. Congratulations! You have to oversee a business. <laughs> um, Mitch, what I'd like to ask you is, who then is the person who makes toys for adults? Mm-hmm. You've got this, Mitch. I believe in you. Don't let him. Tr- don't let that man in that tuxedo trick you with his uh, sh- shadow Robin, play. Robin Williams witchery. and toys. Robin Williams and toys. Say that. Say erotic I, toys. Say erotic I was going to say the Apple Corporation. Steve Jobs oh, himself look, is the yeah. man oh. making toys okay. for adults. Huh? Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. And so you would, oh. you would agree oh. that Taco Go Bell ahead, is neither Mitch. of those. Mm. Go ahead, Mitch. <laughs> Hello, Mitch. Go for Mitch. Mitch, to you? Going for Mitch? Roll on, Mitch. Going for Mitch? Good I Mitch. analogy. I think that if I was in that tour, the Willy Wonka tour, I think I would go out before Augustus. I think I would get out somewhere in the hallway or the waiting lobby. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> what was Augustus? He just jumped into the he jumped in the chocolate river. Ch- yeah, mm-hmm. chocolate. Yeah, I mean, which, that Willy, Wonka, Willy Wonka would have taken you aside, Mitch, and say, "Listen, I know you're going to jump in that chocolate river. Don't do it, please. <laughs> Don't do it. We're saving this for Augustus Gloop, and I'm... you will you won't get all you won't get halfway up the tube." Yeah. Sorry, that's just because you're a very large man and I love you. No, I, 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 I love, I, you were right. I, 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 but I also, I want to say this. Uh, I, I want to say this. I want to say that Augustus Gloop, he, yeah. what, he, he, he gets introduced to a land that's candy. You get yeah. all this yep. candy and then he reaches yeah. in the river to drink the chocolate river. Right. And sure. then he falls in and there's a suction tube. It just feels like his fair. wasn't, his it's not wasn't fair. fair. It's not no. It's like it's like, it's like if your kitchen floor took you today, trying to get your pizza, and there was just like a tube that opened and it took you. It's not fair. It's yeah. bullshit. And it's, I would it's, go. It's the fat guy. It's. I want to go. It's not uh, fair. I agree I with you. It's not fair. Little, I want to go a little further and say none of them are fair because these are children. Right. <laughs> right. Right. What? What? One girl liked gum. What the fuck? Yeah. Too much. Too yeah. much. Rude habit, Paul. Rude habit. Too Very much. rude habit. You deserve like, to be blown up and killed. You sell yeah. gum, Willy Wonka. Why? why <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm realizing I tapped out of the movie at that moment as a kid, and then I never saw the rest of it. When she got turned into a big old what? blueberry, I was like, this wow. is fucking, I, this is horrifying. I can't watch yeah, this. Is horrifying. The Augustus I was so scared. Stuck in the tube. Yeah, stuck with me for a long time, and I couldn't get. When I saw that the first time, I started running, and I wasn't found for three days. It was terrifying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where did you hide? What's that? Good question. Where did you hide? Good in question. an old in an old factory. That's weird, how you did. Classic. Exactly. <laughs> let me let me ask you this: in a vacuum, and that's put where aside. I'd hide. I'm a ghost now. Oh, Go on. Boy. Oh my god. Go yeah. We're we're two thousand dollars away from one hundred and fifty thousand wow. dollars. Incredible. Yeah. We're one thousand away. It's one hundred and forty nine thousand. Wow. Too Steve bad, boys listeners. It. I applaud you, and I always do. Not like Paul. It's too bad. Like I mean, can't believe it. I don't think, I don't think you're going to make it to one fifty. This is really sad because it's not going to get to one fifty. It'll be stuck at one forty nine, no. and that'll be so unsatisfying. <laughs> Anyway, oh. you tried, I, I guess. I believe you can do it, and this is in no way a psychological game that we're playing. A traditional <laughs> good yeah. telethon, bad telethon act. Uh, you guys are like, you guys, in the end, you're all like Wonka. You, you're fucked up. You're we're playing manipula- psychological we're manipulators. games we're, we're all manipulators. And by the way, we enslave a, a, a race of creatures <laughs> oh. for our labor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my Lord. We enslave a race of sentient, intelligent creatures who, who have no rights or agency, and they just make chocolate. <laughs> and then we give their control to a boy, and, we, uh, and then we retire. That is a really messed up book, isn't it? That is really messed up. Uh, it's actually pretty pretty good about how wealth works in capitalism. Anyway, moving yeah. on. 
Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Red Rose Twitter. <clears throat> Never mind. Let's move on. <laughs> Go. We, Go we, for Paul. We, we, <laughs> we just we just got a big ass. We got a big ass. We got a couple big ass donations. Language. Yeah, let's hear him. Let's hear him. <laughs> Zook's, be- <laughs> Zook's beard. Zook's beard, popcorn, and Mitch's cheesy floor gave one thousand five hundred and fifty five dollars. Wow. Staggering. That's amazing. Staggering. Tip that's your service lot. at least. Tip your service at least thirty percent. I'm guessing that's Zook's. Three himself and then the sixler oh. gave one thousand dollars good work oh boys thanks for the laughs and hi sean sean's gone but thank Our you buddy spencer. spencer what's up yeah spencer? sean's gone spencer, spencer. You, you see any fucking sean's around here <laughs> it's john john with a j john oh, Jesus. <laughs> i always thought it was Our- john hogman <laughs> John Hogman. Sean Hodgman. Sean Hodgman. Like oh no, the angry doll is back. It's... The guy who created the guy who programmed me is back. Geppetto, Mad Geppetto's back. <laughs> Don't minute. look, Mitch. Don't look. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah, the that haunted, is, how do you do that? You're He's a haunted doll, but you were programmed. I, 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 you know, I, I don't have a. It's the 21st a lot of free century, agency. John. Yeah, that's yeah, the reboot. Sean, yeah, you don't John. have a lot of free. Yeah, it's Sean. It's 21st century, Sean. <laughs> Sean is the 21st century, Sean. This is actually wounding to me, but that's fine. <laughs> All for a good cause. I liked looking at. I I know everyone was unnerved, but I kind of like uh, PFT's all black eyes. Me Thank too. you. Look at those. Uh, I did too. Because you, you were let you look like you feel like you're looking at one of your own. It, it, that's why when his eyes turn black. <laughs> like that. I feel really calm when I look at PFT. I yeah. just feel good for the first time in months. There's years ago, years ago, it. there was a there was like a, a, a older teenager, like young twenties kid, who had a supernatural, super paranormal <laughs> podcast. I don't know. He's like, you know, I don't know what his age was, but he he sounded young. You know what I mean? And he had a paranormal. I think it's a good, de- I think it's a good description for someone in their early twenties, older teenager. <laughs> I I co-sign that. Okay, completely. very good. And he, we, I, I'm, Mitch, I'm, is, I'm, Mitch is flailing his arms wildly. Can't wait Mitch, for this anecdote to be. Mitch, Mitch, Mitch. We, we, we hit $150,000. Yeah! We did it. It happened. Paul, calm down. Damn it. 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 Damn Get thee behind me, Satan. I knew you could do it, listeners. I knew you could do it. Paul didn't believe in you, and Arden was neutral. No, I'm a big fan of Doughboys. I thought it was a big fan. An incredible milestone, but I am just dazzled by PFT's plugin package. What what kind of software are you using? I don't think it's a plugin. It's a little something called Snapcam. And wow. Uh, wow. it's a lot of fun. Look. Uh, ooh, <laughs> Look at that. A little ghost. <laughs> that, that, that was exciting. I, genuinely, I genuinely got scared. I got scared. Uh, it's it's scary. scary. I, I tried it's I didn't do it for too long. I didn't do yeah. it for too long. Yeah. yeah, no, I, was the, yeah no, I was getting used to it. It was a shock. John was freaking out, honestly. He was <laughs> sincerely not okay with that. <laughs> I was freaking out. Here's what well, I mean, say. The thing, the, thing, the thing is, luckily, I had all this Taco Bell this afternoon. Yes. So uh, I have no more diarrhea to give. So I just actually <laughs> keep my that's pants. The, that's the name of my album, No More Diarrhea to Give. <laughs> by, by Haunted Doll. That's my <laughs> Haunted Doll. <laughs> Tell, would, Tales of Haunted Doll. Uh, let's get the let's <laughs> go boys artists on, on designing that uh, album cover. Mm-hmm. And, and then <laughs> you all could sell it as an NFT. Hey, yeah. I read the internet. Yes. Ooh. What's Let's, our next goal, Wags? One fifty-five. One. Should we try to make one fifty-five before the end of I think at this, this point we just try to get as high can, as we can. I don't all right, all right. Get, just crank it I up. I don't think they can go any higher. I was pretending to have faith in them before. I went. <laughs> oh. We're already, already one hundred fifty thousand six hundred ninety dollars. So the t- the total continues to climb. I think well that's past wow. our initial oh, goal. Well really. past our reach goal. I bet you now, can get at least to one seventy-five. Wow, that, that could happen. Shit. Now that we that's hit the one hundred fifty goal, can can I let the mask drop? Yes, yeah, please. you were not. You were with Mask Paul, off. weren't you? Yeah, these older teenagers that listen to your show, deadbeats. They're not going to do it. Forget. It. Okay, am wow. I the only one that believes? You guys, am I the only one that believes? Wow, these older I'm pretty, teenagers. I'm pretty, I'm, 
I'm pretty amazed our mind games that, that Paul and I were playing worked on these dum dums, but yeah. I don't think it's possible at this point. <laughs> oh my this God, is... Sean, you too, Sean? What the hell? <laughs> Sean and I planned this out months ago, House of Game style. Yep. And uh, it's working out, I dare say. Wow. The Spanish prisoner. I believe, I believe that these older teens actually they care about the community, they care about restaurant workers, and I believe they can make it to 175. I believe they can do it one donation at a time. Love to the live in your world, Haunted Doll, but I live in the real world. <laughs> the, ch the chat is going crazy. The chat wants us to get to $169,420. That's what they want. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that's Take actually the perfect amount. That's the perfect Take it amount. Easy. That is exactly where Calm it needs to down, go. Calm down, everybody. Yeah, stop it. That's They're what they right. want. That's, that's what they want. They're going crazy with this number. They want this that's number. That's what they need. don't have to be <laughs> random. Sincerely, Not everything has to be random. It's a perfect number. <laughs> Sincerely, I think that is exactly what they are capable of. That is exactly <laughs> I do. It's a perfect number. We might believe in that. I believe in that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Let, let us know in the chat. Uh, let us know in the chat when we hit that number exactly. Uh, Wags, should we get into the restaurant? Absolutely. 100%. That's what we're here to do. Mm -hmm. Certainly. So I'll, I'll say this. Uh, <laughs> well, Hodgman, why don't we start with you? You mentioned that Taco Bell potentially ravaging your digestive tract. It, did you not <laughs> have a great reaction was... to it? Oh, that was a joke. Well, okay. well I didn't. I didn't have any t any tummy troubles, but there was a moment after I ate the Taco Bell where I, I wasn't thinking of the Taco Bell, and I just thought to myself, "Oh, wait a minute, do I do I have COVID?" Because my heart was racing. Oh wow! <laughs> my heart raced too. My heart raced too. <laughs> like I I could hear the blood rushing in my ears. I all of a sudden felt very very hot and short of breath for wow. a short period of time, and you know throughout this entire experience, I've been you know very very, very lucky to have my health pretty much i mean look at me i'm falling apart but in general but you know those those phantom moments over the past year where you're like is this it do i have it do i have it i had that I, taco bell gave me that fun feeling back even though i'm wow. vaccinated wow give me that fun feeling back for a moment John, so that I'll was unpleasant you saying your heart it was it was racing has made me try to feel for my pulse and i have to say i cannot oh, yeah. feel anything there i don't feel any pulse anywhere well, you got a lot of meat up what there. About your, what about you your neck? Try, what about try your, your neck? Do I like if I ple pledge allegiance? Oh, there we go. I felt I felt my heart. Ooh. There we go. All right. So it's beating. It's slowly beating. <laughs> Look, it wasn't a good idea to eat it Taco Bell twice, and 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 it, to make anyone eat this at all. I mean, it's just not good for you, especially being up twenty four hours. But what? What do you think caused it, Hodgman? Was it? Do you think it was the? Do you do you think it was oh. a panic attack from being out, or do you think it was the food? No, no, no. It was just it, it was me eating too effing much because I right. haven't had Taco Bell in forever, and uh, it's not a part of my life. And they have, as you pointed out, Mitch, all these wacky combos, these quesalupa dipas and the duparana chaldutas and so forth. And it was really hard for me to pick out what I wanted, so I ordered all of it. To see to see uh, see how different these things were, and they weren't. They, I mean, they're just like layers of different tortillas and cheese, and then one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the same the same goop in different configurations. I, right. I we, they, love the, you, we love the we love the we love the goop though. We love it. We you, we, we love, love the goop. Goop. We love the paste. Uh, I, I don't want to come say... off as a snob. <laughs> I don't mm -hmm. want to come off as a snob. Some of it, I there's one thing in particular I really liked, and something I thought was. Uh, Another thing that I thought was actually a really good sandwich. And then I, the rest was just kind of, you know, ballast. That's I want to get, wow. I want to get to your thoughts on that and, and, and drill it down. I do. I, you did make me think of an anecdote I'll share real quick. When I worked in video game development, I had a coworker who for a time was subsisting. You were an, on you were an, you were an, you were an AI or some kind of. I was, I you was were, not, I'm not an automaton. I was not. You were a compiling program. I was not being time, developed or? into. No, I was not the software running. But, was this the before computers. you had a body or okay? This was okay. I'm a human man. Uh, Why are you, 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 you were, you were, you were responsible for putting all of the, the gabagool sound clips in, into the Sopranos video game. Is that correct? Sopranos road to respect. <laughs> when you were My on most the ignoble design credit, uh, when you were on the game grid, did I, I read this somewhere on your Wikipedia on the, when you were on the game grid, you like picked up the broken uh, light cycles and you like repaired them. That was your job. <laughs> I live in the Tron universe. You lubed, uh, I, the, you lubed the light cycles is what I read. 
<laughs> so I had a coworker who had a who decided to just like go all out with his gamer bachelor diet of only Taco Bell. And he was just eating Taco Bell basically exclusively for lunch Oof. and dinner. The only meals he was having for I don't know. He was doing this diet for a couple of months and he well. started to get pretty sick. And he saw the doctor, yeah. and the doctor uh, like took some tests, did some blood work, came back laughing, and put the and lime said, in the coconut. Yeah, put the lime in the coconut, and said, uh, "I've never seen this before. You have scurvy. <gasps> he was diagnosed with scurvy wow. in wow. like 2007. Wow, he was a that's a haunted sailor doll. The... That's like a haunted wow. sailor yeah. doll. From he was the a toothless sailor on the bad ship Yum Industries. <laughs> 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 wow, Jesus, scurvy! Uh, I had a pirate's hat and I gave it to Ramondi for that John Adams bit. Oh man, but, uh, it would have been it would have been perfect right now. You could have um, punctuated that right now. Oh wow, I know. Fuck. Let's just imagine what would have happened if after Nick said scurvy. Then Mitch ran to get the pirate's hat. <laughs> and we were all like, where'd Mitch go? Where'd Mitch go? And then he comes back like, I don't know, two, three minutes later with the pirate's hat on. And then we all say, oh, because of the scurvy reference. I was actually trying to yes. how that was going to work. That was <laughs> And also, I gotta yeah. say, it doesn't it doesn't fit on my noggin that well. I think it is a kind of a child's hat. It yeah. actually is an adult hat. I bought an adult hat. It just doesn't fit on my head. You got a, you got a sizable noggin. Let's I, let's I think, get. I, in. Think, I, I think people would have. I think people would have been bending over laughing if I if I if it if I my head if it went the way it went. Especially it would have killed me. I would have loved it. Especially if you had tripped on a brick of cheese you dropped earlier. <laughs> that would have been probably <laughs> the perfect Doughboys skit. <laughs> That pizza Mitch, look, did look Mitch good. Goes, it Mitch so goes good. running to grab a pirate hat. No one knows what's happening for a while. Nick yeah. is staring at the screen asking Emma if we've lost Mitch. 35 <laughs> minutes later, <laughs> Mitch comes in with a pirate hat and a bloody nose saying, I tripped on a block of cheese in my mom's <laughs> house. <laughs> I'd probably fall into the oven. It would be very Wonka-ish in many ways. There would be a lesson please to be had. Fall, please don't fall into anything or hurt yourself. God, don't. that looks good, though. Look that how good. It's perfect. Good. So Good. It looks, it looks so good. I want that. Mitch, I can't oh, wait really to share good. a slice with you. It looks so good. <laughs> Thank you. Go for Weiger. Go for Weiger on that one. <laughs> um, Hodgman, let's talk about let's talk about what your have uh, what your Taco Bell was. I want to hear about your order. All right. So here I really did over order everything. I got I got one, I just figured I would get one regular crunchy taco because no one ever gets that from Taco Bell. I got that with chicken because I didn't want chicken at all, and I just figured I'd blow it on the on that crunchy taco. <laughs> the chicken was disgusting. I got one. <laughs> I knew it was going to be disgusting, and it was. I got one crunch wrap supreme. Wow. I got one cheesy gordita crunch with yep. seasoned beef, which I don't like saying those words. Mm -hmm. I got the nacho cheese Doritos Locos tacos, but it was only one taco, so I don't know why they said tacos. Because I wanted to try that Dorito thing. Because I've been I've been hearing about this stuff for a long time, and I never eat it. And then the 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 older teenager, uh, younger twenty something person who lives in my house got a couple of quesalupas, one with steak and one with seasoned beef Ooh, and la, la, classic wow. bean and cheese burrito. So, uh, oh, and then I got a soft taco with potatoes. I didn't eat all of it. You know what I mean? I just was right. It was a sampler plate, and um, you know it was that was a, a lot. It cost um, seven dollars <laughs> for all of that. <laughs> <laughs> No, that was the total was with the add-ons and everything else before tax. It was twenty twenty six dollars, which is quite a lot of calories for twenty six dollars. Wow. And order. Um, yeah, and then also I got a lot of sauce packets because I was very curious to try these different sauce packets, and I have strong feelings about them. Wow, uh, Arden, wait, wait, talk, walk us through your order. First of all, so honored to be here. Obviously, always so excited. You know I'm ready for flavor. You know I'm a hungry gal that's game. Can someone can someone cue Arden? Arden. They, oh my god, was it my cue? Okay, yeah. great. Okay, go. I'm a hungry girl who loves flavors. So this was a blast from the past. College Arden, college haunted doll, <laughs> post Ouija board, post Ouija, new brand new haunted doll Arden like loved Taco Bell, okay? So like this was my jam. And then 
I have to say, like, adult haunted doll Arden has actually had, like, better tacos because I'm in Southern California and the food is better. Yeah. So I'm putting it in a different category and I'm, mm -hmm. like, going back mm -hmm. with nostalgia. Um, I made a few critical errors and I'm so mad at myself because you know I take this so seriously. You know, I'm I like went this. to Burger King. Luckily, I had the Taco Bell menu with the ingredients on it there. Okay. I gave it to them and they did the best they could. Here are the errors I made, and I'm going to ask John. Did you pick up or did you get it delivered? I got it delivered. And I got it po delivered. And Postmates. I'm more mad at Postmates than Taco Bell. Like they added like five stops before me, so it wasn't hot. And then I made the error of like trying to microwave it, which made it a little soggy. So that's on me. If you're gonna do your, if you're gonna do 25 hour Taco Bell marathon on your own, go to go to Taco Bell. Wait, did you do it twice too, Arden? You didn't have to. I, was I no, supposed I just, to talk about I'm not going to let my friends, my friends, my new Pando friends, I met them in the Pando and they're, That's I'm going to eat the Taco Bell along with them. No, Hell no yeah. left behind. All okay. Right. Yeah. So my other error was this. It, I, it is a weird curse that I think the only good way to eat Taco Bell is to go to a Taco Bell. You got to go to a Taco Bell. So that was my first <laughs> error. And the second error is also on Postmates. I don't blame the po Taco Bell. I hate sour cream and I requested no sour cream. And all wow. of them, like, they just like squirted that gun. Like Neil Armstrong was not in his pants. <laughs> There's so much taco. <laughs> there was so much sour cream. So that's, I believe, on Postmates. I'm going to let, because I no, love me. No. no. Postmates isn't squirting the sour cream. If they but were doing that in the back of the car on the way to you, that would, <laughs> that's one of the rare situations where I would give okay. four instead of five stars. <laughs> I also heard my third critical error. I didn't realize until it arrived, I forgot that they had the Dorito tacos because it's literally I've I've wanted one. I, I might have to go get one tonight. There's nothing I want more than something wrapped in a Dorito. I love Doritos. Like that's the, yes, I want that for my meal. So I didn't get one. I'm so angry at myself. So angry at myself. Can I offer you anyway. some solace? I don't yes. mean to interrupt. Yeah, please, please. Dorito taco is uh, NG. No good. What do you mean? And, How? And How could that be? Wow. Not possible. I, not possible. The, wow. the Dorito shell is not Dorito-y enough. And I love Doritos okay. too, but it was is a it cool ranch or rigs. What cool a ranch or rigs. It was nacho cheese flavored Dorito, but Which I love know, classic. It, did, it was uh, it didn't have as much Dorito dust as a natural Dorito does. All right, nor did, that's a nor problem. It didn't have the the crispness or the crags. It was a very substandard uh, Dorito flavored shell. So maybe Yum Industries, if you're listening, maybe you should offer a packet of powder to up like if you want an extra. You know, I would buy that in general, like like a spice rack. Like you I could have Dorito like dust? garlic. Just Dorito dust. Oh my god! <laughs> yes. yes, Dorito right? is missing. They're missing right? out. And right. Oh, that's a great idea. They marketed Dorito, Dorito dust. It is a great idea. Yeah. Honestly. For sure. If I ever give birth, I'm going to name my firstborn Dorito Dust and my second two Razzle and Dazzle if they're twins. Okay. okay. I'm uh, life with golf, so sorry. Okay. Here uh. we go. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm wooden from the neck a life, down. A life with all the dreams of life. All right. Go on. <laughs> so I got, I also got the cheesy gordita crunch, Classic. which is a warm flatbread layered with three cheese blend and warm nacho cheese sauce wrapped around a crunchy taco filled with seasoned beets, speed, <laughs> spicy ranch. Yeah. Now you Crispy see why lettuce. I couldn't I couldn't get through the menu because like how many times are you gonna use warm in this sentence? Yeah. Like I felt like I, every, <laughs> right. every description also, that I read, I felt I like take I take it for out. granted the food will be warm. I also did <laughs> I also not. did I also our felt ice dizzy. cream is served cold. <laughs> <laughs> I keep interrupting you, Arden. I apologize. I'll stop. You got excited. You it's an exciting topic. I also got dizzy. I ate it, also got dizzy, and I also had a phantom COVID fear after I ate it. And I'm also Whoa. double vaccinated. And I my heart was racing. <laughs> my heart was racing. I'm not a big gal, but I but I'm like I'm all in and and I my heart was pounding. Worth it but pounding. Number two, <laughs> I got the quesalupa. I yeah. love a combo. Like I wanted their trash combos. Like I wanted, like yeah. I saw Nick just wince and I respect his reaction to what I ordered, but I, it was, this was my favorite. I put a check mark next I to think, it. On I my, think that was just I'm, an automatic system upgrade. I don't yeah, know. no, sorry. That was not <laughs> necessarily connected to what you're saying. I apologize. Okay. I got the quesalupa, a chewy flaky quesalupa shell, which as if I'm supposed to know what that is, but I, I was all it. I loved it. Right. Filled with pepper jack and mozzarella cheese, 
cheeses, top of seasoned beef, lettuce, real shredded cheese. You, you don't have to say real. Yeah, that's <laughs> you're suspicious. Um, tomatoes and reduced fat sour cream. It would have been better without the sour cream. This was my favorite of the three things I ordered. The quesalupa, I liked a lot. I liked that it was wow. kind of like a pita bread yes. over like, like it's like, I don't know what, what food product I'm eating, but I'm here for you, quesalupa. Like I would hit it and quit it late at night. College haunted doll art and all in on the quesalupa. <laughs> Rounding the bend, couldn't resist <laughs> the designer in me. I love like geometry. I love a shape. I love like a fun, like mm -hmm. I don't, like my food isn't shaped like a stop sign normally, but I saw the Crunchwrap Supreme folded like a stop sign of yeah. flour tortilla layered with seasoned beef, warm nacho cheese sauce, crispy toast dotted shell, uh, crispy lettuce, ripe tomatoes topped with cool sour cream, gross, all wrapped in our signature uh, <laughs> crunch wrap, fold and grilled to go. I loved that I bit in. I had an extra it, dollar for astronaut semen. <laughs> <laughs> I bit in. And once I, once I got past Neil Armstrong's nut, I was excited to, I was excited to hit like I didn't I thought I was going to like a quesadilla party and then inside I had like a nacho party and I didn't see wow. it I liked the shape of it I could walk around elegantly like at the governor's ball like if I was nominated mm -hmm. for I could eat a crunch wrap supreme but my number one favorite was the quesalupa because it felt like a pita and a taco um and it felt the most Dorito-y to me and mm -hmm. so I I really loved my visit my anger was more at Postmates and the temperature right. and the sogginess but that was on me i yeah. i'm i made a critical error i don't blame taco bell my old friend <laughs> i loved it i loved it and their sauces wow. i was like i was i almost put chalula excuse me <laughs> i almost put chalula on and <laughs> I, forget the, I almost put chalula on and then i was like no girl don't be bougie you got to use their packets and i'm so glad i did i forgot those flavors of hot sauce oh, i thought they were so fun I, I was all in i like ripping them with my teeth that also made me feel like i had covid that was my bad and um i, I loved my taco bell i highly recommend their weird combos I thought it was a delight. Okay, so Hodgman, really you brought up, uh, pointing the wrong way, Hodgman, you brought up sauces earlier. And yes. on the topic of sauces, I, I'd like to, now I'm, now I'm second guessing myself. It doesn't no, matter. It's right different on my screen. Okay. Oops. All right. Okay, we're, we're all pointing at Hodgman. Can we turn uh, him off and turn him on again? Fuck. I don't know. Is what... <laughs> I, I want to hear your opinion point. on sauces. What, what were you thinking? Which ones did you go with and which I mean, ones did you prefer? I mean, it's a live show, but it's a podcast. No one can see him anyway. Does, is he okay? All right. Sorry. And, uh, and Arden as well. Hold on both well. buttons at once. Okay. Sauces. Right. John, go to on. you first. Going for John. Go for John first. Go for John. Uh, yeah. I got, uh, well, the sauces, the array of sauces, of course, are mild, hot, fire, and Diablo. Mm -hmm. I didn't get Diablo. Well, Diablo is hotter than fire, I guess. Yeah. Please don't. Okay, please stop saying his name. You know, I, I just am worried about what happened. Oh, oh no! Oh God! Oh, we summoned him. <laughs> Did somebody call wow. my name? <laughs> You're supposed to wait until we say it three times, Diablo. Come on! Oh, <laughs> that's the Candyman asshole. <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking of Willy Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> Willy, Willy, Willy. Uh, I, these sauces were. I also I have some camera tricks up my sleeve too. Right. I turn my scale. Scale. Black and black and white. <laughs> <laughs> You're back in Mayberry. How about that? Back, back in 1961, in Quincy. Oh. In I can I can hear the racism outside your door. Oh my God. <laughs> Seeing the devil, the color fell out of me. That was that was. Oh. John, go ahead. Never. Well, I never uh, interjected here. The so the sauces. Here's what I have to say: the 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 mild sauce and the hot sauce are nothing. There's no there's no spice whatsoever. But the, delicious. But, but delicious. They were fine. They were fine. Yeah, they added something. Look, you should be adding sauce to everything that you're getting from Taco Bell. The big surprise 100%. for me was percent how completely under seasoned everything was mm -hmm. i mean and it's fast food at least i expect it to be dangerously salty but no so add sauce by all means but i would say that the uh, to my surprise the the fire sauce which is the second hottest 
was actually a very tasty hot sauce and had really wow Wiger is pumping his arms in the air yes. i'm not sure if he's trying to get blood into his body or if he's excited that you like the fire sauce what is that nick that was uh, that was elation because yeah. wow. i i agree that the that and i'm something of a heat seeker i Would like you see spicy. you're fond of spicy foods oh sh- what <laughs> sorry <laughs> what's your tagline ahead. why should i be stepping on your tagline no, it's great. Uh, the uh, I, the fire sauce has a much better flavor than Diablo. Diablo is it's it's hotter, but it's just like it tastes. I don't know. It tastes. It it it's, it's, it's you're just getting heat. You're not getting any got, sort of additional flavor from it. D- Diablo is okay, but what I got what I got from it was like they added black pepper. Mm. Like it wasn't a lot hotter, but it had an extra kick of like black pepper, which I don't I didn't mind. But this was the thing that took me by surprise as someone who's not been to Taco Bell. For a long, long time, they now have little sayings on the packets of hot sauce. Yes, like little, like little thing, like those Valentine's Day hearts. They have these little sayings. So I had to catalog yes. all the ones that I got. So here they are. In mild, I got can't wait that moment when dot 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 besties, and you're cute. With hot, I got first mm. of all dot 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 current mood blank space another first of all, and you are in danger. That was weird. In fire. What I got not sitting this one out, <laughs> taking requests, marry me, and then it said one of these packets is poison. And then Diablo, oh. it said, <laughs> Let's show them now. You try, act first or die, collect their souls and join me in the feast halls of Nug Shohoth. Well, I don't wow. know what that one means. That one might be from my that was from me, <laughs> <laughs> the haunted doll. That I put that one in. Maybe there. the so postmates mixed, 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 mixed it yeah, up. Yeah, I'm so yeah. sorry. Because so I've asked for sour cream on everything. Yeah, yeah that was from me. That was from me. But I thought I thought all of like I just had to. Most of those were real, of course, and I just had to imagine who's. I, I, if someone must know the person whose job it was to come up with all those little sayings for the hot sauce packets, and I would just like to talk to that person and buy them alcohol. Hodgman, God, it, you're talking to him. That. It was the Doughboys. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna say, it's like, what? Get me in that room. You're the sauce sloganeers <laughs> of Taco yeah. Bell? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> seven seven dollars per pitch per packet. <laughs> it's a great deal. But, um yeah, they're very I got a your cute thing and I just like was in, you know, when I first got it and was prepping for Doughboys and like looking at your cute. And I'm like, don't fucking don't give me this bullshit. I don't want to fucking don't read this shit. Don't pander to, to me. Don't to me. Don't yeah. Did you just, don't, yeah, did you don't just crush me. it in your hand? The hot sauce <laughs> squirt <out? laughs> It exploded Fuck everywhere. You. It's all everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> I'm uh, sure you're just a packet of hot sauce. Duh. The sauce really did make it taste better, though. I have to. It was yes. like, and I was so I glad that I, I was like, no, it has to be their sauce. It has to be. I would say add... The, the, it's an add-on if you're order. I did it on Seamless or something, and you can add on re, what they call red sauce, which I think is enchilada sauce. Mm. Add that to every whatever you get. Yeah, add I that. Add, done that. add that right on. Really I wanted nice. more meat. I didn't think the beef. There wasn't much seasoned beef in any of them. I mm. felt like I was chasing the seasoned beef dragon. But again, <laughs> it was really. It's a fun dining experience. You know, it's just yeah. like yeah, I'm eating Taco Bell. I'm on my way to scurvy. Like I like myself, you know. Right. <laughs> Did somebody say scurvy? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh You've my been god. Waiting. You've been waiting. He's been texting me to say scurvy. <laughs> <laughs> I both loved that, but then I saw how everyone loved it. How it would have been if I oh, came in there with a the hat so and jealous. I was jealous. Yeah, you blew it, Mitch, yeah. run and get yours. Run and run to a. Well, go you, run and buy one and get go, one. Run, yeah, go to the run costume shop. Buy one. Go to Quincy Go to Party City. Go to Party City. <laughs> Ramondi has it. He wore it as John Adams. We drove by the John Adams house, and and he was outside of John, the John Adams house, dressed as John Adams for a little bit when I did a tour of Quincy. And then he came in and woke me up when I was asleep in my bed. Um, Paul, he was we dressed need to as your- John, you, you need to get full context. He was dressed as John Adams, holding yeah. a bell, ringing it like a town crier, saying, "Hear ye, hear ye." Yes. And I'm this wondering. Is script, this is the script I gave him. Hear ye, hear ye. <laughs> Hear ye, hear ye, I am John Adams. That's what he was saying outside the, the Adams house in Quincy, Massachusetts. People just giving them the dirty, dirtiest looks as they walked yeah. by. And uh, there was we couldn't find a, a tri-cornered hat that would come in time, so we bought him a pirate's hat. There you go. Um, and Greek and the uh, logo on your set. You resourceful fuck. <laughs> PFT, let's talk about your Taco Bell. PFT, what? Yeah. Yes, sure. What? Um, I... 
first I tried to order in advance online. Yes. Went to the website, um, chose my location, made my order, and then they said, uh, yeah, you can't get any of that shit here. You can't do that here. <laughs> Wow. So I was like, oh, okay. Why? <laughs> that should have but come they, up. They wouldn't. They wouldn't deliver to you, or they didn't. Was have it the, the Glendale? Item. No, no, no. I what? was gonna. I was gonna do it. It was the Glendale one. I was gonna do it Glendale. so I could. I could order in advance and go pick it up. Right. Yeah. Right. And they said. So they let me make the order, and then said, "No, you can't do that here." Glendale one was think, the one that overdid the sour cream for me. The Glendale right. one's but not this, the but one. But this is this is my story now. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm okay. Sorry, I mean, I heard you guys talk about the sauce for a long, long time. Okay, go for Paul. Go for Paul. Go for Paul. Go for Paul. You go ahead, Paul. Go ahead. So, I mean, like, you guys were in summaries already, and I was like, I, I ate this garbage food, too. Okay. okay. I also feel bad. Okay. Are you okay? Okay. Go for Paul. So, so, uh, so I, I could not order, because there were all these things that I'd never had before from Taco Bell, because, like, like everyone else, it had been a long time yeah, I since I ordered that already, there. Paul, so you can skip over that part. <laughs> John, he needs this. He literally so, needs this. He needs this. I'm sorry. I apologize. I truly so I, a terrible week. You to so move I went feet. there. I went there in person. The menu that they have at that place, it's like a smaller Taco Bell. So they Ooh. have a much smaller menu. So like half of wow. the things that I wanted to try that I saw online weren't there. Mm -hmm. So I did get one of the Dorito uh Taco Loco Supremes. I got um, uh, uh, Crunchwrap Supreme, um, and for uh, I got the um, the bl the blue raspberry freeze. Wow! Um, I oh. meant to get cinnamon twist, forgot. Um, and then I also got for old time's sake, I got a uh, soft taco supreme. Um, wow! Which used to be that used to be my favorite thing at Taco sure. Bell. Sure. Paul, can I, can I have a quick question? Yeah. When you when you say small. If I walked in there, are we talking Augustus in the pipe situation? Would I be stuck? How small? How small are we talking? It was a tube. It was, it was, wow. a tube. was it like yes. a like a yeah, like you a, had to like crawl a, in over it under it? Is weird. Was it like an airport version of it, like an airport well, you Taco know, Bell? You know the combination Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. This was a combination yes. Taco Bell and Chocolate River tube. And <laughs> did you try to reach in the river? I did, and I almost got sucked in. But I'm an adult. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Um, you're a, you're an adult teen. You're an older teen. I can't get sucked in a tube. Um, so I I got the food home, and uh, I tried the uh, the soft taco supreme first. I could not believe how much it tasted exactly like I remember wow. it tasting. Like wow. had not changed at wow. all. It was kind of weird. Did it make um, you happy? Did you feel happy? Yes and no. I mean, I was like, yeah, I remember this taste and I remember liking this taste, but also I couldn't get past the fact that it was so strange that the that in all this time it doesn't taste even slightly different was okay. very weird to me. Okay. The the Dorito thing I thought was okay. Was it um, more Dorito y than John has advertised it as? No, it was not. It was it was it, it was kind of disappointing. I mean, it was it was okay. It was okay, but it was not like you have an idea in your head of what it's going to be like, and it was not like that. So you I know, don't need you can, to go to Glendale. I no, don't need to go you to can Glendale. skip it. You can okay. skip it. I think. You could probably make your own Dorito uh, nachos. Like, but I wanted that. It, tape together a bunch fun. of Doritos. But, but, but that's what, the fun <laughs> is the shape. The fun is the shape. Like that's the fun of it. It's mm. like no, I it's not a nacho. I, it's a Dorito taco. Like yeah. I need that. Shapes are fun. Every toddler knows. Mm -hmm. Shapes are so, fun. <laughs> then um, the crunch wrap, I thought I was completely underwhelmed by that. It was very bland and I, it, it's not crunchy, by the way. It's just like it, it's just like a quesadilla, kind of like there was nothing unique about it. Um, but it is like the Taco Bell thing. And, and you know, Wayne Fetterman had a, a, a perfect joke about Taco Bell. Uh, the idea that they're just rearranging all these different elements and different combinations and it's not really like the crunch wrap was just like oh you kind of you you kind of toasted a quesadilla or something and i don't know but it was i think right. i think they throw a like a tostada in there i think they yes throw a, a crisp yes, corn the, chip in there but it immediately just saw exactly yeah the crispiness mm -hmm. it immediately goes away is that the crunch wrap um, supreme yes yeah. the the blue freeze was fine you know what i mean it's no it, honestly it's no icy um, 
I will say the chief difference for me was I did not use any of the sauce. Oh, oh okay. boy, because that's I, key. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because I never wow. used to. I never right. used to. Wow. And I did get sauce, and then I just forgot it in the bag. I didn't take it out sure. of the bag. Oh, boy. Um, so I think that's why my heart was not racing. <laughs> well, you're probably used to in LA. You're probably used to going to a place, getting a taco, and exactly. having perfect and right. done. You don't need sure. to yes. douse it in sauce. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So I think that was why I didn't really feel like super terrible after I ate it. It didn't give me uh, COVID scares because I didn't. Right. I I I ate a small amount and I I didn't use any of the sauce. But it was, you know, overall I think that uh, I didn't miss it. You know, like wow. in, in terms of that wow. taste, I didn't miss it because there's better fast Mexican fast versions of that, like Del Taco, yeah. you know, stuff oh, like yeah, that. Yeah, wow. yeah. Uh -oh. this is just, if I, if I want to do that, I'll, I'll, I'd rather go to Del Taco, you know? Wow. I too would rather go to Del Taco. I concur with you there, just in general. I prefer Del Taco to Taco Bell. And again, the part yeah. of that allegiance is, I think, comes from just growing up the West Coast, where it's, it's, I feel like if you're from, we're really, here, we're you're really here, here in the hits here, Nick. You love Del Taco. You grew up in the West Coast. God. I'm just saying. Okay. How do you feel about spicy foods? I'm something to be a heat seeker. <laughs> so I apologize. We uh, I loved it. He likes so, vanilla. He likes vanilla. I do love vanilla. Vanilla is uh, a flavor. I love vanilla too. Vanilla is a flavor. I agree. It's a flavor. Absolutely. Thank you for being it's an exotic bean. On this subject. <laughs> Briar's vanilla ice cream. Oh, oh. oh. you can't. Heaven. You can't beat it. So you can't it's beat it. So good. Heaven. I also oh, good. love vanilla. I also love vanilla. Uh, McDonald's yeah. vanilla cone. Sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some absolutely vanilla. delicious. Yeah. It is. It's delicious. Do you know delicious. Do you know vanilla? <laughs> Vanilla as a term for like plain <laughs> has its has its origins in swinger culture. What? Like that was like wow. like swingers swingers would say like regular conventional sex with oh, right, one partner right, right. was vanilla sex, and sure. then that got generalized mm. to uh, well like uh, something that's that's plain is vanilla, something that's ordinary and regular is vanilla. But that's uh, vanilla was never thought of that way. It's just like that. that it, it's it's. Uh, there, there's a there's a term for when a word becomes generalized like that. that would, would, but uh, th that's the, you found that's the you found you found this you found this out in the swinger world yourself. Or how did I you was know? at the Cloak and Dagger Club. And, Are uh, you the gas or the brakes? I I I'll say this. I prefer Del Taco, but I think Taco Bell is great. The app is great. The veggie cravings uh, for me, you know, not eating any meat this year. No, no meat shall I eat. The veggie cravings menu in the app is really, really well organized. I like that everything's there. I like that you don't have to make any modifications. They're just ready to go vegetarian. Uh, and it's great for drive through pickup. That works out really elegantly. At some chains, it doesn't. Uh, real quick, black bean quesarito, black bean country wrap supreme, cheesy roll up, cheesy fiesta potatoes. Uh, cheesy fiesta potatoes, I didn't get a fork. Will that affect my fork score? I don't know, but it made it impossible to eat in the car. Uh, that said, I love this menu item. It's a great treat. Cheesy roll up, man. I never what get this. It? I offer what is it. I don't, it's just a little. It's just like a Jeez. single quesadilla, or I'm sorry, it's a right. quesadilla like a uh, taquito, basically. It's like it's it's just a flour mm -hmm. tortilla rolled into a tube stuffed with Fantastic cheese. Fantastic, why? Stuffed it's with delightful. warm it's nacho great. sauce in a warm tortilla, warmly rolled up and then placed into a warm bag. The simplicity yeah. of a that real sounds. Bag. The simplicity of a real bag. <laughs> Thank the you, simplicity Paul. of that <laughs> sounds delicious. It's better than their quesadilla, uh, and it just wow. just so much flavor per bite. Uh, the Black Bean uh, Crunchwrap Supreme was the star of this particular outing. I, I agree with what you're saying, that it's not quite crunchy. It's always a little bit soggy, but I like it. I kind of like that texture. It works for me. And the Black Bean Quesadilla, just too much rice. I, I don't. Yeah. I, it's just personal mm -hmm. preference. I just don't need that mm -hmm. much rice. Uh, Mitch, uh, and also, I went all fire sauce this time. My previous review, I did half fire, half Diablo, just to give Diablo sh sauce another shot. Not Forget worth it. it. Stick it. with the fire. Uh, yeah. Mr. Slice, talk us through your Taco Bell. I opened up the Taco Bell app, and I and I thought to myself, what would Proust write about a place like this? Proust? Yeah. Yes. David Proust? Darth Vader? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Did I get his name wrong? Did I say yeah. it wrong when I heard Proust. it? It's Proust. You don't, pronoun you don't pronounce the T. What Proust. would Proust? What would it's Proust? Proust? What would Proust? David what Proust? Proust? You're saying David what Proust now. What, what would Proust, I get what you're what would what Proust, Proust write about? Go for Proust. Go ahead, Proust. Go for Proust. <laughs> did you see? Did you see? Did you see the Oscar directing video that was online where the guy, the the editor, the the guy who's like running the live show yeah. is? It's great. It's a great. I it's love a great, it. 
Yeah. Yeah. Is it the is Cuba it, Gooding Jr. speech? That's the one yeah, I the remember. Cuban it's just like it's Jr. so fucking speech. good. Just a fucking pro it's, at the top of his game. That's how, right. do, how does someone do? How does someone develop that degree of technical proficiency and execute you know it so flawlessly under pressure? No, it's unbelievable. Mind. Holy shit! He woke up. Jesus. Um, he, he, he heard Cuba Gooding Jr. and was flying. He's back. <laughs> 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 so, so i so i uh I, I i i was making my pizza and i realized i'm never i'm not gonna get this in time i'm just not gonna get i'm not gonna get my food in time i texted the quincy guys micus helped me out micus came to the rescue he went to the same taco bell that i went to yesterday a madhouse once again wags but micus got me this he got me a cheesy gordita crunch my go-to always That's Paul, a, I, I something, had that. something i never get and something that I loved, and something that you got, a, a soft taco supreme. I don't usually get that. I loved it. Mm. Uh, I got I got a quesarito, a chicken quesadilla, a crunch wrap supreme, and a large Mountain Dew Baja Blast. And that all got there, and then I got just a regular taco, just like a regular hard shell taco was in the yeah. bag. Mm -hmm. And a quesalupa, beef quesalupa was also in the bag, and the, the hard shell taco. Oh, everything, everything had the season. in the beef. bag, or the quesalupa is really good, isn't it? <laughs> was what was what in the bag? You said, and there was a uh, hard shell taco in the bag, like it had just fallen in there by accident. It, I didn't <laughs> order it. I didn't order it either. Mike you got a bonus. I, yeah, either it was a bonus or Mike Micus added it and I didn't order the quesalupa. He Micus just put that Mike in there. He went, Micus saves the day. Micus is God Micus did him. save the day. The uh and and the yeah no the quesalupa is is fun it's it's a lot of cheese I wish I could taste the cheese more on it but I do like it, um, the the food arrived when I when I uh, pu uh was pulling the pizza out of the oven basically yeah. around the same time we watched or we putting saw the it. oh no it, when I when I put I the that. pizza in the oven yeah. so yeah. I was I was put I put the pizza in the oven and so I was taking bites of all this Paul I really love that uh the soft shell taco and you know what really hit this time Nick. The quesarito was fucking good. It just had a wow. lot of great flavors going for it. I, I really wanted liked that it. so bad. That was, one of my, that was one of the things I wanted to get, and they didn't. No. Tell me, what is in a, a what's a quesarito? It's basically a it's a burrito that is covered in, in like a quesadilla like wrapper. I mean, Nick, you can maybe you know, I, no, neither of us can do this. Um, it's about the size of a room, so they can only serve them at full size Taco Bells. Right. I went to the shitty one. I had the shitty yeah. one deliver. You can't go to like a a, a taquita bolita in uh, right. London, right? Or right. It was. It's fantastic. I, I don't know. I, th I think you should you should try to get it. It's, All right. It's just, All right. I'll it, do that on the Dorito one. I'll do that in the Dorito taco. Because I like I, myself. That, because I like myself. <laughs> I need to do this. That was. <laughs> yeah. Wiger, that was the Spoonman bite of the Doathon. Besides wow, my pizza, how my about pizza that? Better bite. Wow. The, uh, wow. I gotta say wow. that the, the cheese. Wow. The wow. Go ahead, wow. Go ahead, wow. 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 I'm gonna re-enable wow. alerts in the chat. Wow. 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 <laughs> <sighs> you know what? But a lot of it was hitting for me. I really the quesadilla was actually good. I don't usually like them, um, but the quesadilla was good. My my cheese gordita crunch, my favorite item there. It got a little Freddy Krueger wags again. It stuck to the wrapper. It stuck mm. to the uh, it stuck to the wrapper the second time because I've gotten it twice. Um, and and then wow. the the hard shell taco was was pretty decent, but um, the uh, the, uh, the the uh, the what's it called the snack wrap? Yes. is that what it's called? Crunch wrap. Wow. Contraption. That was good, but I just I ate it. You guys saw me eating it on, on during the show here. Yeah. So uh so I, I just ate it a little a little a little late. Anyway, I love Taco Bell and it was still good. I'm mad mm -hmm. at Yum I'm 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 mad at Yum brands for what they've done, Wags. We we they 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 should offer they should Willy Wonka it. The adult the 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 man who makes toys for adults, Willy Wonka, they should continue that trend. They should be making adult toys, Wags. Right. Taco Ooh. Bell makes the best adult toys. <laughs> um, <laughs> sure. Taco I, Bell want makes cool okay. ranch. I want a Cool Ranch something, like a they Cool should... Ranch Dorito, some mm -hmm. kind of like Frankenstein item. Yeah, they've barely explored the Dorito flavors. There's so so many they're flavors. So, they're so vanilla with their Dorito this is, flavors. This is, this is... <laughs> This is and the Mitch, to, your, to that point, friend of, the, friend of this podcast, uh, my son, who shall never be named, was saying that this afternoon. It's like, they should just make the craziest stuff they can think of. 
It's yes, true. Why not? So that's, yeah. They're already everything going I, in that direction. That's Take everything I wanted to order. I did not want a simple taco. I did not right. want, like, I want to give bad. me, give me the every, I want everything a word that I don't know ah. what I'm asking for. That's what I want. And here's the thing. They had Cool Ranch Doritos Locos Tacos. They took them away. Yeah. What? Is, oh. yeah, the Yum Foods Wait. is fucked up. They, uh. No. Why would you take that away? The, I, I, I mean, I don't quite understand the logic for it, except that it's probably like, we only are using this shell for this particular menu item, and we can't justify the cost. We'll, we'll make just as much. We'll make more money by uh, by reducing our menu, and we'll, we'll sell more of the other I think there are a bunch of. I think there are a bunch of trolls. I think Yum, yum mm. Foods is a troll. You know, you know what Yum stands for? Why are you mad? They're just trolling. Wow. Wow. That's what they're doing. Holy shit. <laughs> All makes sense. Why are you mad, bro? Holy shit. Can I run something by you, an idea? What Please, if yeah. they made, in, in addition to a Dorito hard shell, mm. what if they made a Bugles hard shell? Oh, <gasps> yeah. Why not? Go for it. Yes. What's uh, stopping not, you? I don't know if you know this, Paul, but you may know the world just stopped revolving when you said wow. that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> The world said, I need a minute to wow. think about this. I made it the not... corn tortilla, you know what I mean? It's the greatest I mean, idea. Because it, it's not a flavor that, you know, you, it's not an everyday flavor. Wow. You know, you're exactly. like, oh, man, man about the bugles. I'm going to town at like the pre-Thanksgiving party on the bugles. The thought of making a bugle, not shit like a bugle, but like a taco. I'm in for that. Why not like just make that. a big bugle and put taco meat in it like a cone? Oh my god, like a cone! Wow, <gasps> that like why a don't video. I just got a, my heart started. I got, literally just started salivating. Here's what I think. Again. again, they should make a giant bugle yeah, again. that's like a cornucopia, and it, yeah. it can become a Thanksgiving tradition that yes. you put oh. <laughs> Mexican <laughs> food ingredients yes. in the big bugle. Yes. <laughs> and then you and then wow. you try to carve it, and it shatters, and it's yeah. no good to anyone. <laughs> See? Oh my god! And everyone eats what? it with their hands. What if you had a bugle cornucopia that you fill with Mexican food that is shattered, but you could also put like Cool Ranch or regular dust. You could dust like w like adding the dust on a bugle shell. Are you kidding wow. me? Look, we all hate. Listen, yes. yum brands. We all hate our bodies. We want to destroy ourselves. Yes. Let's give us what we let give us, us the I'm, tools. I'm Don't give us this. yum. Yeah. $30. Help us, yum. Help us. Well, give with, us without further ado. I well, go ahead, Nick. I was just gonna say I, real, real quick on the we're dust. Some further ado. We're, we're we're some further ado. Uh, just, <laughs> just real quick on the dust. This is a factoid that I picked up that I I disclosed in a recent episode. The Cheetos dust. The Cheetos dust dollars. internally is canonically referred to as Cheetle. Oh, <gasps> so Cheetos Cheeto. dust they call Cheetle. Like Don Cheetle. How do you like spell Don Cheetle, like but spelled with a T. But do you know who originated -E that? T -T -L -E. It was Rich Hall originated that in Sniglets. This is true. I remember really? reading that. And wow. he spelled it with a D. And then they wow. adopted that. They were like, oh, this is, so. they, they took this joke and were like, hey, you know what? That's actually helpful for if, our internal if language. If memory wow. serves, yes. Wow. But like a wow. few know, decades later. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> decades oh. later, they embrace it. I you love know it. What? <laughs> wow. It takes what wow. it takes, Paul. It takes what it takes. Guys, you wore us down. We admit it. It's disgusting. It leaves <laughs> shit on your fingers. We're going to make a commercial about it with famous wow. people. <laughs> Let's get to our Guys, final I, thoughts I, I on Taco this, Bell. Yeah. Get to our final thoughts, but we've hit $155,000. Unbelievable. Wow. Incredible. Wow. We're just going to keep that going until Roll we down. shut down the stream at 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, but right now, let's get to our final thoughts on, on Taco Bell. Uh, we're reviewing for the sixth time, so here, here's how this will work. We'll each go around. We'll give a closing argument, if you will, and then end it by giving it a rating from zero to five forks. You're all veterans of the podcast. You know the format, uh, but just a refresher. John Hodgman, we'll begin with you. So I do feel like there's only one way to eat Taco Bell, and that is to go to the restaurant, which is horrible, a horrible curse. You know, the, you can't, you, 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 this is not food you can eat easily in your car without getting right. sprinklings of all kinds of stuff all over your lap. Uh, if you order it and take it home, it gets cold and disgusting and soggy. The only way to do it is to go in there, order the thing you know is good, okay. get out of there as quickly as possible and eat it. And ideally do it on Commonwealth Avenue in 1991 with Charles Diggs. <laughs> Perfect moment in my life. <laughs> Great <laughs> friend, Nate. Cheese burrito. Great friend. So, uh, so, you know, my criteria was what of this could possibly hold up beyond 35 seconds? And almost nothing did, including the cheesy crunch gordita. I think that's what it's $30. called, right? Did I get that right? Anyway, you know. Cheesy gordita crunch. Cr cheesy gordita crunch, yeah. 
like I admire the idea of trying to combine crunch and soft. It's it's cool, but it's not cool ranch because it just gets soggy. I will say there was one sandwich, one thing that happened that I really took me by surprise, and that was the soft taco that I got with the spicy potatoes. They were great. That was delicious. And mm. overall, I would say Taco Bell's vegetarian options are far superior to any of their meat options. Their seasoned beef is wow not seasoned properly. It's kind of trash. The chicken and the steak were both, I mean, the steak was, was, tasted like uh, uh, liquid smoke and Gaines burgers. It was no good. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, but, but the spicy, but the spicy uh, uh, potatoes really were terrific in the soft taco. I also, I, I agree with, uh, with Arden, that the quesalupa, their chalupa, that texture works. That fry bread gives it heft and that will hang together in a car. Wow. And you can reheat it at home easily. I reheated my stuff in a in a, a pan. I just put it in a pan, flipped it a couple of times. But then I had that bean and cheese burrito. Now listen. Mm. <laughs> First time I was on this podcast. Mm-hmm. And I'm it's been a gift to me to have been associated with this podcast, I have to say. It's Go destroyed ahead, my body for sure. Yes. Mm-hmm. I was in good shape when I came by there in 2017 and weighed eight Arby's. And you said, what, now give me the fork rating, one to whatever it was, five? Yeah. I'm like, I'll give it one fork. And both of you said, wow, because I just <laughs> fucked up Arby's golden plate status or whatever. Because <laughs> my mistake was, I thought, I thought I was supposed to be rating the food as though the, it was meant to be good food. Now I know right. that that's not true. <laughs> no. Because that Arby's was bad. Most of Taco Bell was bad situationally contextually we all love it we have the things that we love from before but there's not just better obviously better mexican food in the world but there's better fast food mexican food as paul pointed out that bean and cheese burrito wow it tasted exactly like it tasted in 1991 which is one of the best meals of your life and unlike paul f tompkins who felt disappointed that that thing that the soft taco supreme tasted the same uneasy 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 yeah i i truly went back in time it was the it was so consistent and so good and i think it's now a dollar 69 they're keeping with the 69 theme anyway and so should as they should as they should should. (laughs) and that's something you can eat in the car and when it gets cold you put it in a cast iron pan flip it over a couple of times it was goddamn delicious. And wow. so I'm giving, do I give my fork rating now? Yes, please. This is yep. not, I'm not grading on a curve. Is it one to four forks? One to five, five. forks. Five. One to five forks? I'm going to give it four forks. Mm-hmm. Great wow. score. Not grading on a curve. Oh. That, mm-hmm. that bean and cheese burrito and some of those secret menu items like that, I fully believe that that dollars. quesadilla taquito thing you had, Nick, was good. Oh yeah. Like I think some of their they've got some hidden gems wow. on that menu. And it's the simple stuff that works the best in co- counterintuitively. And uh and I take I take back a fork uh wow. because a lot of the food was garbage. Wow. Wow. Four wow. Wow. Still, four still in the for John Hodgman. Still, 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 still in the Lake Club. Wow. Uh wow. Arden Marine. Okay, thank you so much for asking. First of all, truly. <laughs> truly a highlight. I'm not even like I'm not even exaggerating. Thirty dollars. Being a guest on Doughboys. Here we go. It's been the highlight of my year. This oh is my, my third time. I mean, wow. I was I truly. It's been such a pleasure, and I'm it so made, honored. God, and maybe I, makes sense this year. Yeah. And with my colleague <laughs> to be here with these two colleagues, what what a, what a treat! Like what chef's kiss. Um, okay, so you know I take it very seriously. I listening to John, I'm aware that I am not a good cook. And I, I didn't know that I should have heated it up in a pan. So I'm going to allow for my human error. I also agree. You but not go. for that Postmate. Not no. allowed. Human error, not allowed Postmate. Wow. I, I regret not going there. It was literally just a time situation. So mm-hmm. I, I, I would recommend going there. Um, I wish I... You have to use the fire sauce. Although, quite honestly, I don't even mind the weird flavors of some of the, like, the lower level of heat. Like, it's, yeah, Paul, that's how you do it. Um, a little shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. I I personally, I, I love that. 
I really like tip of the hat. Like I respect that they put that they really do just take the same combo of things, but just go like they take the same items and just throw them all together. And like, I will order any new weird version of that. You put a new name on it. Like I got ex- like, I couldn't figure out what to pick. I wished I could order more. Um, the quesalupa was so good. I wanted more beef. I wanted less of the sour cream. But again, wow. I blame well, you know what? I blame Glendale on that. I blame Glendale. Mm-hmm. Now that I, now mm-hmm. that I now that Paul has actually reconned for us, now I know wow. who made it. And I I wasn't at a f- operating on all firing and all sin- cylinders. Taco Bell. Um, I wow. I'm gonna say if I was on a road trip and I'm driving across the country and I get off at a rest stop and I see a bunch of like fast food, I would still go McDonald's before Taco Bell, to be really honest. Mm -hmm. I love McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really like Taco Bell, but like, I, I love McDonald's. And so for that reason, and for all the sour cream, I'm going to give it three and a half forks. No, I'm sorry. It wow. was all sour cream. Oh, it was all. Did I fuck you over? Did I no, take it you, back? No, you just, this is no. I, I'm afraid Say you just Arby's it. I I did love I that you, you said over? that. I love did that I you said that. Did I fuck you over? There is I mean, not as, over in, no. It's there's not it's, as good. It's, it's, giving McDonald's your honest evaluation was, is the right way to where right way to go. I mean, because I also want your fans to trust me that when I say like. I love the Cheesecake Factory. They yes. know that I mean it. You know. <laughs> I think I, I, I hear. Wow. I think if you had a if you had your your high ex, you had your expectations for Taco Bell and this order did not deliver on that three and a half forks three forks two times is very much a fair score. So I, I don't don't feel like you have to retract it under pressure from us or the chat. I think How that's a great this? score. I wouldn't reorder it like that. I hmm. would go get it and make sure the sour cream wasn't in it. Wow. It's, so I, I I don't I don't want to be like the, the I don't want to do it just to like fit in it this was a three and a half fork order i think i'm right, so hey, sorry, I'm sorry no you don't need to apologize in, i see in the chat that we that we reached one hundred and fifty six thousand. Yeah. that's right but, oh shit which is amazing but now because you bumped taco bell out of golden plate oh my god i don't want to do they're that taking their money wow. back okay yeah, fine okay four so forks sure. four forks four yeah! forks four forks four forks you know what taco bell has been nothing but good to me i gained 30 pounds in wow. college partially from taco bell so because of that like the 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 this restaurant that made me partially not fit in my pants let's give it wow. four okay forks. we're back to wow. 150 Oof. great wow. we're back to four we're back to four I, that's from the last from the past art and just chowing down wow. go not, wanting to keep up with people that were a foot taller than her like i, I was born without an off valve <laughs> but they're all like six four and it's wow. me and i'm like i can literally eat as much as them but it i then don't i don't fit in my pants right. so i'm going for the college artists give it a four. All right, we're wow. back up to 156,000. Everyone appreciated right. wow. your story. <laughs> well, all that may be moot depending on the rating of our final guest, PFT. Your mm. your uh, closing argument, your fork score. Go for Paul. Um, I was kind of excited to revisit Taco <laughs> Bell. It had been such a long time. Um, I have to say, I will echo that when I'm in the mood for fast food, a place like McDonald's Wow. I feel like delivers something that feels substantial when you eat it. Mm. And that to me is wow. a big, uh, a big part of, if I have a craving for that kind of junk, if I'm going to, if I'm going to indulge myself in something that I really shouldn't $30. have, I have no business having, then I want it to at least feel like I ate a meal, you know? Right. And, I ate, so I ate three, my wife and I shared them, but I ate, um, you know, I tried three different things from Taco Bell and I felt hungrier after I ate them than I did before I ate them. Wow. And mm. there's something that feels very um, insubstantial about it all. Wow. And I don't know if, if by design, what you're supposed to do is order half the menu every time you go there or something, or if they're just like, really, they've just really leaned into, wow. <laughs> Like their high clientele where they're like, look, people are just going to buy a bunch of shit. They're not They're They're tasting it in a different way. Wow. I don't know, yes. but it was very disappointing. It was really mm-hmm. not, it wasn't that it wasn't fun. 
You know, I didn't feel like, wow, I got this taste that I never get and I really enjoyed it. Um, so, and I don't think that I'll really, I don't think I'll really ever crave it again. You know, wow, it, wow. it didn't do it for me because mm -hmm. there are better options out there than Taco Bell. And so I'm going to give it two forks. <gasps> wow. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, Arden, you can go back to 3.5. It's over. Yeah. Okay. It's over. Okay. Ugh. Okay. It was what really a, underwhelming. Maybe, maybe it's just the branch we went to. I mean, we went to the <laughs> wow. same one. But that's no, a but fair thing to evaluate. The same. You know what I mean? It tasted yeah. the same. Yeah. Your, both of your, so both of your meals came from the same Taco Bell. Paul yeah. went to pick it up and Arden, you yeah. had it delivered yeah. by the same one. Right. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And, and I want a sour wow. cream. And I mean, I, I have, if, if the, the, the soft taco Supreme tasted exactly as I remember it from like having it five, 10 years ago, mm -hmm. I can't imagine that the other menu items were anomalies and right. didn't taste like they do at every Taco Bell you could go into, you know, that's fair. That's fair. What, what a pendulum swing for Taco Bell from last night, reentering the golden plate club to wow. the next night, 24 hours wow. later being ushered okay. out the door. Uh, do man, give feel? us your thoughts. How do you guys feel? Well, I'll tell you right now. Um, and I look, I won't be as uh, Prostian as you guys are, were in your reviews here, but I will try my hardest. Oh, boy. Um, I want to give a, I want to give a shout out to Greg Shields uh, um, from Quincy. Nick, one of my friends, he gave $100. Shieldsy. What's up, oh. Shieldsy? Shieldsy. His Thanks, mother-in-law is Kathy Woods, if you want to expand the Quincy experience. Thanks, Woodsy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kathy. And, and Woods has got a lot Wood. of play this weekend. Wow! How's she, your she, mother? She certainly has. <laughs> and I, you know, I want to give a shout out to my sister who is who today. She left a a binder of all my family's recipes $30. that she had copied for me to give to me to take back to California. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, that's so beautiful. You got a nice sister. You know yeah, what? You should did. take a picture of all those pages and sell them as NFTs. <laughs> She's a great sister. That was it was very nice of her. Uh, I love her. Uh, OK, so I love Taco Bell. Maybe this will be Proustian. Do it. Do it. Leave it on I, the field. You've had a long day. I love Only Taco three more Bell. Hours <laughs> Nick, I, I you know, I of course, we're upset with the with 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 the way they've devolved in many ways and they've taken away some menu items. But. It's still that it's still that friend after all those years. Hodgman attests to it. It's it's it it still has that great taste that you that you expect from it. It's a it's a it's a warm friend. Wow. In a in a in a, in a, in a it's a it's a it's a warm friend in a warm bag. A warm real friend. <laughs> a warm real friend. <laughs> and I had it, Nick. Compared to twenty five hours ago when I had it, then it was just as good now as it was then. And before I just give my score, I just want to I just want to say to the important the places in Quincy because we're we're this is for you know a restaurant workers charity. I just want to shout out a few places: Balducci's that uh, Angelo owns Balducci's in Quincy, and him and all his staff, and Carrie who owns 16C and all her staff, and Jimmy Liang and all his restaurants, and uh, and Neil Kylie who's my god brother, and the Fat Cat and all their workers. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you to all the restaurant workers for what you do, and hopefully this helps at all. But five. My forks for Taco yeah. Bell. It's, wow. it's, it's I, I said this at one point. It's my favorite restaurant. It is my favorite restaurant. I love Taco Aww. Bell. The cheesy gordita crunch is great. I, I'm disappointed by this Glendale outing, and 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 hopefully that hopefully the you guys have a better experience. Paul, I hope you have Taco Bell again. But I will. Five forks, <laughs> and, and and Arden, you as well. Yeah, I hope. I hope. Oh, I, I will. Hope I will. will. You know, I will. I'm a monster. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to chase that dragon until the, I'm just going to go to a different Taco Bell. <laughs> what a perversion of the concept of hope. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch, thanks for the shout out to. Thanks for the it's, shout it's, out to restaurant it's, workers. Uh, oh, okay, wait, hold on. In the, the ice cream parlor in Dieter. You know Dieter too. So uh, Dieter is a great guy. Well. Go ahead, Wag. Sorry. Uh, appreciate you shouting out the restaurant workers of Quincy and everywhere, especially today on International Workers Day, May Day. Uh, really, really hope that, you know, some of uh, the work that great organizations like the Restaurant Workers Community Fund can lead to labor power ascendancy in uh, the service industry, especially food service, where we see how you go to a Taco Bell and you see how fucking hardworking everyone is. And right. just Nick, like what was, a tough was, that... fucking job that is. 
That's what I and, meant to say is that yeah. 25 hours ago and today, Taco Bell mobbed. They were just yes. mobbed with people. Yeah. People Mike Micus was in the road. People were beeping at him in the road to get into the to get into he was trying isn't to get it, into Taco Bell. It, isn't it the number one fast food like chain restaurant? Isn't it top dog right now? I think I in think terms of I think in terms of I know. In terms of locations, I think it's still Subway. In terms of per store sales, mm. it might be something like a Chick Fil A. Wow. Uh, I'd have to check. Uh, but uh, but I think I think actually McDonald's is McDonald's and Subway are still very big. But but Taco Bell yep. is up there. Taco Bell's got like seven thousand plus locations. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a, it's a it's oftentimes a shitty job, and you should be fairly compensated and treated with respect. And as arduous as this has been for uh, our physical and mental well being, Mitch, this it's I feel like it's a lot of times. So if you're working in a fucking fast food restaurant or a chain restaurant, you have you have shifts like this all the time, not 24 consecutive hours, but long shifts where you're on your feet and people are disrespecting you and you're not fairly compensated and you don't get the breaks you deserve and you don't get the health care you deserve. So I'm hoping I, I the, the, we're not heroes, but I'm hoping that we can at least with through we this are. event and with through are. the funds. OK, we're heroes. Uh, <laughs> do a small part for being so reliant on the work of, of food industry workers, uh, service industry workers, uh, to, uh, to to hopefully pay some of that back. Uh, Taco Bell is great. It's a great vegetarian option. These two trips reminded me I should go to Taco Bell more often. Five forks. And wow. hey. Wow. Wow. That'll be that'll wrap it up. Wow. We'll call it there. This wow. episode wow. of wow. Doughboys, wow. John Hodgman, wow. Arden Marine, wow. Paul F. Tompkins. Wow. 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 Uh, the chat was saying Arden looks like she has a halo over her, and pa- and PFT was looking like the. De- oh my god! Wow, what is that? <laughs> He's at the Look Taco at Bell. He's at the Taco Bell. <laughs> I'm at the Taco Bell. I, I'm ascending up to uh, to fast food heaven. <laughs> my time on Earth is complete. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Goodbye, and, fuckers. And- Hodgman is in some sort of purgatory, it seems. Wow. wow. Night between... has fallen on the East Coast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you all so much. Uh, any any plugs before we let you go? Hodgman? Uh, I, I'd just like to say that this uh, coming two weeks are the Max Fun Drive at MaximumFun.org, which is uh, my podcast network. Uh, not mine, but the one that I am lucky enough to be on. Judge John Hodgman podcast every Wednesday and Max Fun Drive is um, when we come to you and ask you to go over to MaximumFun.org slash join if you uh, care to support us. But um, uh, that's a different fundraiser. This is a, a more meaningful fundraiser, so wow. thank you for letting me be a part of it. Uh, Ma- Max Fun, a great podcast network. I myself is a, am a subscriber and a listener of many of the shows over there. Uh, Arden thank Marine, uh, God bless you. Anything you'd like to plug? Uh, I have a book called Little Miss Little Compton that's available worldwide, and then I host a podcast on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your wow. podcast called uh, Will You Accept This Rose? It's a comedy podcast about the Bachelor franchise, and we will be kicking off the upcoming season with a live draft picks show with Dynasty Typewriter um, with wow. Doug Benson. Like, yeah, Doug Benson's our Rookie of the Year. Uh, Rob Benedict. There's all Paget Brewster. There's all sorts of fun people, and that is Friday, June. Fourth, uh, ten bucks. You can watch it live, or you know, you have like a week to watch it. So, will wow. you accept this rose? Love wow. it. Thank you, Arden. And, and wow. wow, wow, wow! World of Warcraft. <laughs> PFD. Yeah, man. Um, I would like to plug. <laughs> I have $30. two podcasts running right now. Uh, Freedom that I co-host with Lauren Lapkus and Scott Ackerman. Um, and Stay of Homekins that I co-host with my wife. We we wow. record a podcast uh, every Friday night in our home, and then we put it out unedited immediately afterwards. Um, and also tomorrow night, I'm doing a live $30. streaming improv show with Lauren Lapkus, courtesy of Dynasty Typewriter. Um, that's tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific. Um, and if you can't, uh, as Arden said, if you can't watch it live, it will be archived afterwards. They're so funny out. together. They're so oh, good oh, together. Yeah. You're you, too you kind. Can't, oh, you can't go wrong. You're too kind. Uh, God bless. Funny, three of the funniest, three of the funniest guests on earth. 
three of the funniest people in the world, and we raised one hundred and fifty-seven thousand dollars. Wow! That's amazing. Now that's that a wow. Is wow. That the, is legitimately amazing. That's I so never, much money. I never stop believing in you, Doughboys listeners. <laughs> guys, this is this is. I want to say sincerely, this is great that you did this. It's so fantastic of all your fans to tune into this and to donate and to have raised so much money for such a great cause. And I'm really, uh, I'm pleased and proud to have been a part of this. I'm, I'm so glad you did this. Thank you so much. Oh, Thank God you. bless you. Yeah, yeah, what, a, what, a, what a thank you, you guys rule. Yeah. Thank you. The thank you, everyone. Uh, John Hodgman, Arden Marine, Paul F. Tompkins. Thanks so much. And hey, thank Mitch, you for we got. Me. We got one more hour to to blaze through. <gasps> oh my Holy gosh! Just what? Oh, oh Emma, wow. Emma stepped away. Emma stepped away. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, uh, push you guys out of here. Thank you so much, Love you, Hodgman, <laughs> Arden, PFT. Bye. Bye.